Hi everyone, welcome back to another Across the Obelisk run. This one is super fun today. We have the new character, Amelia. We are running her in the front of our comp as the tank. Little small caveat there, she is sort of a semi-carry, dealing about half the damage of what Nezglek does, but uh, I think having her up front with Spell Sword, her unique ability, is really valuable. She gets a bunch of stacks of that, which each stack gives you plus two damage, but then also reduces the damage you take by one. And so the if you as you're playing her, if you just get two stacks of spell sword, then you're taking you basically have two mitigate, which is a super valuable stat on a tank um, who's up in up in the front taking a lot of uh, hits. So um, that's the plan here is that she's sort of doing a lot of insane damage um, with this comp, but then also is up there tanking and providing some energy and other stuff to the team. Um, I think it's a really fun way to play her, and I think it works really well. So outside of that, we have Laia doing a bunch of blocking and keeping everyone alive through vitality and regen. Uh, we have uh, Gustav, who... This is actually a very interesting comp in that the first time I played through with this comp, I got to Act 3, and we were doing very well, everything was okay, but it was a little bit slow, our damage wasn't very quick, and for Gustav, I had him doing basically all support. He was doing a bunch of spells, uh, songs that were healing and giving regen and dispelling and all that, and it didn't feel necessary between Laia and the healing from Nezglek. We were we did not need the extra healing at all. And so I was like, okay, I'm just going to stop here and go back to the the start and uh, start a new run. And so we started a new run with Gustav more focused on damage. And he's sort of a semi-carry in this run too. So he also deals about the same damage, uh, the amount of damage as uh, Amelia. And both of them added up deal about as much damage as Nesleck in, in the end. So it, it's, a, it's a fun comp. And I think it's, I always love comps that each character feels very impactful. They're all sort of doing their part and doing unique things. And this run definitely feels like that. I think it'd be a really fun run to play with friends in multiplayer where everyone gets to do cool stuff. Everyone's like, you're not just having everyone buff one character, which I think might not be the most fun for everyone in the in the group. But this this comp, everyone sort of gets to do their thing and it's it's a ton of fun. So without further ado, let's get going with the, the run. One thing I wanted to n uh, talk about is that I have been streaming a bunch more recently. Um, you may have seen my videos on YouTube pop up if you're following the channel. Um, I'm also streaming on Twitch, so if you like my content and you are on Twitch a fair amount, then pop over there and uh, give me a follow, and yeah, it'd be fun to to see see people. I'm doing it just sort of when, when I get a chance, but I've been, I've had a couple of streams this week, and we'll have more upcoming. Just sort of testing out ideas, doing cool stuff. I have a, a really fun Amelia Yager or not Yager, Amelia Gurkley run with uh, Gurkley dealing a bunch of cold damage with Frost Axe and using Bleed to um, apply Chill that I ran earlier in the week that you can check out. But yeah, so follow me there. And I'm almost to 1,000 subscribers. So I'll be doing a new tier list once I hit 1,000. And yeah, it should be fun. I'm. It's been... I, I never would have expected this many people to enjoy my videos, so thanks uh, for tuning in and for subscribing. It's uh, been been a lot of fun. So hopefully we will hit that thousand before the end of the year, I think, with how it's been going. Uh, we should, but I guess we'll see. Let's get into the run. So, oh, I guess I can show, I can start with the perks and we can talk about what everyone's doing and the, and the plan for the run. So part of the run in Act 2, we're going to go to the Spider Queen. She is a super valuable boss to kill in this run. You get to get a Spider Queen Eye on Nezglect, which uh, lets you apply a bunch of poison to them through just your normal gameplay. And the it's really nice to have this through Act 2, or like the rest of Act 2 and Act 3 and 4. You deal just a ton of poison. Eventually into Act 4, like you're usually doing other stuff that's a little bit more powerful. But before then, it's a super valuable item. And even then, it, you're still like dealing a huge chunk of damage to them with poison. So it's, a, I think, a really great item. Now, the other thing, and maybe even more important... 
item from the Spider Queen is the Free Lover chess piece. In this run, we take it on Laia. I think this is one of the best items in the game right now. It's super valuable, gives you a bunch of free or a bunch of free vitality, which keeps your team alive very easily. Um, you combine this with then you get. Uh, Hydra Egg a couple of fights later at the bosses, uh, the Hydra bosses, and you basically get just a ton of free regen and vitality every turn. It is really fun, very, very safe way to play, and uh, I think it's uh, great uh, to sort of take the Swamp Act and go and pick up those items. It feels very good. Um, so let's take a look at the perks that we have on our characters. Now, um, Amelia, now you could play her different. You could try and bring some more of the physical like block and shields and you that might work i i'm gonna try that in the future and you use that but what we're gonna be doing is using um our spells to proc eldritch and deal get a lot of spell sword that way so that we like early on as much as we can so that we can get our defenses up and then we'll be using i think i use arcane reflex in this run along with frost swords i think i'm not actually sure you'll have to watch the run i've this has been i've done a bunch of runs since then streaming so i'm not a hundred percent sure there but i th think we go oh no i think we do go time loop um and then the main one though is rift force rift force is incredible you with this comp especially since we're a mind damage comp and so you get to transform your damage to mind damage and uh, increase your insane charges and then every time you get Spell Sword, she's going to deal a bunch of damage to the enemies. This is uh, damage to all of them. You also apply Insane and, and Chill and whatnot. In Act 4, this basically equates like Act 3, end of Act 3, end of end, end of Act 4. Basically it equates to like you end the fight when she plays this and gets to play a couple of spells. So super fun. I think in my run, I think I maybe took Frost Swords and then Time Paradox, but... You could, you could swap that around. Unlimited Blades is also amazing. I may have taken that, I, I just don't remember. So that's sort of the rundown of what she's doing here. Her perks, we have all of the health and all of the armor, the resist. Um, you really need that with her up front. And one thing I'll note is, like as you're playing, you really wanna find a good set of armor on her to keep her alive, because she can definitely get one shot in some of the fights in Act uh, Three and Four. So if you don't have like a good set of like plate mail or something like that, where you get like 15% resist or more um, and some health. So very valuable. This, this will keep her alive through Act One. She is pretty light on what she actually needs. So we have some Fortify. Um, that we're all taking on all our, our characters. Um, she has some cold damage for the beginning of the run and a chill application. I brought this one where chill it gives you one reinforce per chill that you have on you at the beginning of, or at the end of your turn. And I think this was fine. I don't know that it was needed with the amount of help that she was getting from Laia in the run, but so you could maybe swap that for chill reducing their speed more or just more chill application whichever you like more this wet charge could maybe be something else we probably don't need it actually but that's what i had in this run so you could swap that to something else and then i have two mind damage procs and bless that increases her damage done this could probably also be something else like you should probably just take the extra mind damage here um, along with maybe some insane charges, something like that. So some, so I, I'd probably like take off this wet charge, take off this, maybe do damage and like an insane charge, something like that I think would be more valuable, honestly, so than what I had in this run. Oh, I guess you could take off this too, which then maybe you get like an extra gold. So that's probably what I would do. I'll save this perk setup for the for the run, and I, I think this is just straight up better. And for the for the link in the comments, so let's confirm that. And then for Laia, um, we have sort of the classic stuff I've done with Laia a number of times, where she brings all of the block um, and all of the shield, and then some sanctify, which I, I like bringing the sanctify on her. Just occasionally, she has a number of her talents that like let her apply a chunk of Sanctify and just having like enough where you, when you use those, you apply now 15 Sanctify with Purification instead of like four or six or whatever. Like uh, it makes a huge difference when sometimes when somebody needs to heal up for 40 or something like that. So pretty good. And we have a regen charge and she's definitely doing that. We have a vitality charge. Now we're adding so much vitality that I didn't even bring this one that increases or makes it stick around. It does increase your mind resistance by a, 
amount per charge. So it probably would be valuable to bring this on somebody. If you want to, you could like maybe go through and find some talents to put like take out to put in that. Like you could maybe adjust the decks a little bit and take out some shards to get it. But uh, that that could be valuable if you're interested. Nesglect, we have some HP just because he is kind of squishy. We then have the Sight that makes it so Sight reveals, removes stealth, and then also cannot be dispelled unless specified. This is really important, I think, when you're running a comp like this where you're sort of relying on Nesglect to heal. I think making it so it can't be dispelled is quite nice for that since you now, like, if you are relying on it for healing and then they dispel your Sight, then you just get a lot less healing on that turn. And so it's nice to then have a... A sort of counter to that. It also, revealing stealth it was very valuable in this run. There are a number of places where uh, it saved us a lot of damn, like pain by him. Because like, he's so slow in this run that the enemies always go before him. So you basically always reveal them on his turn with Ockley. So pretty cool, pretty cool. We have the same fortify stuff and then all mind damage, all the insane charges. We bring one regen. Um, just because he has some healing reins in the deck initially. And then Bless sticks around. A lot of his damage, actually, how I play him, is just using Deja Vu, which is deals damage based on the number of exiled cards. Not really... So, like, it, the damage is not really tied to him getting buffs like Bless and stuff. So, it's, like, less important that he has that, like, a extra Bless damage as the carry. The, most other people would want this. Um, perk, but he doesn't really need it with Deja Vu, um, which is really cool. Um, Gustav, we have sort of the same full resist, a bunch of shards, a little bit of gold so that we can get our pets. Um, he also has sharp charges and he has, I accidentally took this. I shouldn't have this. Um, this is what I had in the run though. I should be using this one where it doesn't lose charges. Um, this is much better. This, this one is b very, very sad it's okay because he has the card in his hand or he has the one cost or spell that uh, deals uh, mind damage and deals mind damage and shadow damage but you don't really need to up your shadow damage all that much and it's just going to be better to have it so sharp can't be purged for a lot of it um, along with not losing charges so i will also oh did i this get changed okay okay so i'll confirm that so, just so i can save that in the perks for you guys um, we then have, he, he starts out with some vitality in his deck, so I bring this this perk, along with the regen stuff, regen sticking around. Um, he brings the one where insane on enemies reduces their max HP by two per charge. This is a huge part of our damage early on in fights in the run. It is extremely valuable on any insane comp, and this is uh, the perfect place for it with this comp. He also has a bunch of the, the, the mind damage uh, charges. So those are the perks. Let's take a look at our pets really quick so we come in here and the pets that we'll be buying are for Nesglek we're gonna be buying Ockley for Laia we're buying Orby Gustav what did I do on Gustav I think oh yeah I don't actually remember I bought Betty on one of these people and I think I may have bought something else I don't actually remember you'll have to tune in and see I think I may have done like daily here and Betty here but I'm not 100% sure. That that would be totally fine for you guys, but either way it works really. Um, okay, so then let's take a look at the decks that we're gonna be doing. So for Amelia, I had uh, this setup with ice lances, like some free ice lances, right? They're, I guess they're always free, but sort of a mix of ones that burn and ones that don't, just cause I uh, occasionally you want something in your deck that's cheap later on. I think honestly, they should probably all burn. Um, if you are playing this, we don't do that much damage with the cold, and so I think it might be worth it to just have them all burn. I think that's fine. An upgraded icy veins is super valuable to like increase the block you get from your ice barriers, and there's just a lot of bleed, especially in Act One, uh, that you can get if you get like a sheep fight where there are two of them and they both bite you, and then there's somebody else who also does bleed. Like she can quickly rack up like 30 bleed, and that can be like a death knell if you don't have an easy way of getting rid of it and so icy veins is perfect for sort of both of those things um i have a life tap in the deck i think she really wants extra energy early on in the in the run i think that uh, one thing i would do if i were you is uh, not have the three cost frost nova i would just have a two cost frost nova and then i would buy 
like a Frostbolt or basically any other two-cost spell, because basically you just want to proc her spell sword more. So that's something I would change from what I did in this run and that I've learned just playing her as a tank, is that you probably just want more two-cost spells um, rather than the three cost stuff and she's not adding that much chill to herself so um, you can try it this way um this way worked for sure we, we won the run and it, it works but you could you could maybe mess around with it lies deck very classic for stuff i've done with her just to spell magic healing rains prayer protections the holy novas to add some sanctify i think are, those are all fine and a fanaticism just to let her sort of play all of her two cost cards very very well um for nesglect we have some expected prophecies we have fanaticism healing rains um, the Expected Prophecies we're just leaving in the deck. They aren't, we aren't going to cast them very often in the early game, but once we get to Act 2 and he gets his uh, upgrade so that he gets free skills three times a turn, uh, they become very good. Just being able to like draw through your deck and play extra cards for him is amazing. Um, we have just Upgraded Mind Blast, Upgraded Mental Shakes, so start new deck. I do add a Clairvoyance. I like that one a lot. Um, and then we added a Mind Twist. That was like a decent card. I don't know that you need it. You could maybe go with something else. We also have a Fanaticism to help him so to play all his expensive stuff, we added a two cost card and a three cost card to his deck. So it's kind of expensive. So you want you want a fanaticism. The uh, Gustav deck, we have Shivs, which not amazing, but he could chant himself in Act One and then deal a little bit of damage. Whispering Lies, Annoying Whistle, just fine cards that start in his deck. We didn't want to really spend much on his deck we have a vitalizing serenade that we upgrade which i like a lot in act one i think it helps you stay alive and just the extra added like the health in act one i think will will keep you keep you going along with the sweet melodies that he starts with which are great and then in act two he's going to transition into dealing damage a lot more once you get shrill tone um, that's his upgrade that makes it so that sharp increases mind damage. And so you get shrill tone and let's see, I can go back to my game. We can take a look at uh, Gustav's upgrades really quick. So you start with, yeah, you get heavy metal, which is just an amazing card. Basically, every time you cast a spell on your turn or a song on your turn, you deal uh, mind damage, gain sharp, which is then going to increase the mind damage for the next spell you cast. Um, and if you, you have sharp charges, so you get two for every one. And if you get an item that gives you sharp, it's three for every spell you cast. Uh, or I guess four with the shrill tone, if you have that. And then ethereal weapons, just really, really good. And then choir is nice for the end game. Nesglect, we go... Uh, this run, I went chill and gaze. I think... It, it never really was amazing. I think Night Terror is just going to be better. I would probably advise just taking Night Terror over Chilling Gaze. Chilling Gaze, like, did not deal that much damage ever. We don't, we aren't applying, like, an, a ton of chill with Amelia. So the, the cold damage really isn't going anywhere. And so I think uh, Night Terror is probably just better. Um, I took Resourceful. Just giving him basically three extra energy every turn is amazing. We also apply a bunch of sight to the enemies. And then Chosen One, I love. I just think this card is super fun and really valuable. Obviously, Fated Future is cool with certain comps and whatnot, since you can give this to other characters. But uh, just adding a ton of insane sight and vulnerable to the enemies is really great. And then Omniscience at the end is amazing, obviously. I don't know that I've ever taken Friendly Tadpole just because I think that Omniscience is like so good. Laia, yeah, we went to Perfication, Warrior Duality, Heavenly Protection, and a Beacon of Light. Just full left side, full defensive stuff. And yeah, so that is the first uh, setup. Now let's take a look at the pathing. Um, so in this one, we are going to be my still image here. <laughs> it's pretty good. So yeah, in act one, you basically, the first node here um, is the Betty node, the sheep. And you're going to want to do that and then get a corrupted sheep on whoever you have Betty on. Go up to the hatch. You want to jump on the hatch, take the rift all the way down to Otis's place. He'll give you the little quest thing to then go kill Yager, which you'll then do and then go to the boss. So pretty cool. You get some really valuable items from the Rift fight. You will have to find a node that starts with Betty and the Rift right after the hatch. But once you do that, yeah, it's a really nice path and gives you a lot of value in act one. Um, I think it's really, really, really nice. So then that's act one. After that, you go to act two and you sort of just ping around at these nodes. Um, now in my run, I had the trainer over here, the little green node there that's circled at the right. 
Um, that is the uh, monster trainer where you get to corrupt a pet. So we corrupted Ockley, which is sweet with uh, Nez because it makes it so it starts dealing damage. And so you could only do that if you have the, the node here with the ladder guy. Um, if you don't have the ladder guy, just go through the bottom path and go into the Spider Queen layer. You could technically take the top path and take the rift down to the Spider Queen layer if you wanted to try that. I've never done it, but you could you could try it out. Pinging around in the middle, the first circle you want to steal, the second circle you want to help the Crocman, the third one you if you help the Crocman, the third circle you get to get a free boat. So that's the route here. Then go to the Spider Queen and then out to the boss. In Act Three, you could really do anything in this act. I sort of didn't know what I wanted to do, so I took this path into the... We were doing some dark damage at the time, and so I wanted to get the... Uh, whatever, the, the book from the boss, uh, the rat boss. And so I went down into the underground. I used the path with the the trader guy to take the ladder down. So that that's a path that you can use. With this comp, you can't get into the sewer with, with anything, so there's no way to get into the sewer from the front. If you don't have a way down, you could go get paladin gauntlets on, on someone, but I, because you have free lover on Lia, it's not great since you aren't really doing it. You could get it on Nezglek though, depending on what he has and what he's doing at the time. He, since he gets cheaper skills, you can then sometimes play Anthem of Hopes and stuff like that to apply Bless to everyone. But that's sort of a weird thing. I think going down into the cavern and fighting the rat boss for black deck is an interesting way of doing it. Then into act four, because you have Nezglek and you mind controlled the farmer in act one, you get to then go down to his ship and get a free item shop in act four, which I think is like super valuable. Act four items are incredible. The mythics are great. And so getting a free shop with those gives you another chance at just getting something that will break your run, give you a ton of power. Um, sometimes it just gives a character infinite mana or gives a character a ridiculous amount of damage. So um, that's the pathing. Uh, then the top of act four, you can just go whatever path you want. And uh, yeah, I will send you into the run. Hope you enjoy it and uh, good luck with Okay, so here we are with the start of this run. As we talked about, we have the Lost Sheep node and the Elder Drift. Those are the two that you care about. And uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Um, we're going to be grabbing Betty, going into the hatch, taking this path down here, popping all the way up to uh, Yager, and then to the boss. So I think that'll be a pretty fun route, and uh, well, we should get a lot of... Uh, um, should be helpful for um, keeping us, uh, yeah, get, getting us enough value um, for the whole run to get us like uh, started. So here are the pets, and uh, I will grab our decks that we went over. And do 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 do. -do. And we're ready to go. Ooh. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, none of these are... Of a, or none, oh, they're all too expensive. Um, so earlier today, I uh, was over... Or I went over and uh, watched some One Piece with my nephew. Um, he has been watching for a while. Wow, we are getting slammed. Look at how much damage he took. Um, let's heal that, and then... Um, I guess we'll do this. Um, but yeah, so he's been uh, watching for a little bit, uh, and about uh, a couple of weeks ago I was over there, um, for one of my nephew's birthday parties, and uh, so I was, I was chatting with him about uh, One Piece and whatnot, and how much we liked it, and uh, he was like telling me, he was asking me how far into it I was, and I was like, well, I'm like uh, somewhere around 450, episode 450, I've just been watching slowly over the last like three years or so. And uh, he's like, oh, I'm catching up because we had talked about it in the past. And uh, 
He goes, do you know how I, I'm catching up? And I'm like, no, how are you doing it? And he goes, that's all I do. <laughs> all I do is watch One Piece whenever I can. <laughs> it was so cute. And so then he asked me when I was coming over to to watch some episodes with him. So I went over this morning. Um, and uh, they, it, it's funny because Ennis Lobby um, is one of my favorite arcs in like any anime ever. And that's exactly where he's at. And uh, so we like, uh, it was just, I should have uh, gotten Spellblade before I cast my other spells, but um, I was talking about One Piece, so. And so we're like watching this uh, this show and uh, it's like super intense. Like Ennis Lavi has some crazy moments where it's like <laughs> we're on like episode 300. Uh, there's slight spoilers for One Piece um, uh, with uh, dealing a lot of a lot with Robin and some like going into her past and stuff. And I'm like, this is so heavy. Like I'm nearly I'm like tearing up here. <laughs> And, uh, oh, man, it's so good. Uh, let's kill the wolf. Just, uh, get him out of here. He's annoying. But, yeah, that, that's what I was, uh, spent my morning doing. <laughs> it was a good time, for sure. This guy's gonna be annoying to deal with. Uh, we... Uh, can't apply insane to him, which is like our main damage source. So we're probably gonna have to use Evelyn. Luckily, he is very weak to not Evelyn, Amelia. He's very weak to chill, cold stuff. So she should be able to deal some good damage. <laughs> the last run I did, um, I did not have uh, a, a fanaticism in Nez's Nez deck until like Act 3. It was really bad. <laughs> I should just start with that in his deck almost always. I guess I probably didn't need to take the damage there. Nothing here, nothing here. Mm -hmm. It's like a sarcastic sonnet. That actually looks okay. <laughs> um, I guess I'll get rid of the the bleed there and uh, just go do that. Not too bad. Um, if there's any uh, anime fans out there watching, if you have any recommendations, let me know. The stuff I've watched, um, grew up watching like the first anime my cousin introduced me to back when I was a, a, a young lad was uh, Running Kenshin and then watched uh, what else um, uh, I've been watching Jujutsu Kaisen recently which is amazing I've watched all of Hunter x Hunter um, Ping Pong the animation is one of my favorites it's so good um what, what else is that? I mean, I love all of, like, the... Um, Studio Ghibli movies. They're, they're amazing. Um, uh, what else? What other, like, uh, long-running animes have I watched? Uh, hasn't been a ton. I basically go on, like, a binge watch of anime every, like, two or three years. And then I like exhaust my myself, and I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta stop for a while. I'll be back in, in three years, <laughs> when I, when I've, uh, when I've watched it all. Um, 
but yeah based on that stuff uh feel free to recommend some some stuff oh i've been watching fear in that show is so good also spy family is amazing it's 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 so much fun um yeah i definitely like uh, cozy stuff i've watched a bunch of uh whatever the titan one is i can't even remember attack on titan i watched like two and a half seasons of that and then stopped i just couldn't handle it it's like too too heavy for me i mean jujitsu kaisen this season has been like insanely heavy but it's good enough that i'm like okay um i watched the first season of demon hunter but i haven't watched the haven't watched the new ones so um uh, this seems doable for sure for a free upgrade Most of our damage is from applying insane anyway, so should be fine. <laughs> Not even close. It's kind of nice that like all this random um, insane that we put out also helps us with uh, Man, Leon Paws is so good. Um, all of the random insane we put out helps just heal us with Nesglect, um, which is really nice. Um, okay. Get rid of those and... I don't know, one of those. Ping ping and 13 healed everyone, not too bad. Yikes. Okay, well, let's start with this one and then we can remove all that bleed. I could have left it for Icy Veins. Maybe that would have been better, but there's a chance I don't draw Icy Veins, and that would have been pretty terrible for her to miss out on dispelling the bleed. And I guess she takes the damage um, from it right away, so... Okay. Little bit of healing from the Sanctify. Eh, I guess that's fine. Melee is a bunch of fun. I, uh, I'm very interested to see like where I end up with her as a character. Just like uh, what I end up doing the most. Because the, I mean, basically the um, the tank stuff seems pretty good. Um, just the fact that you get a bunch of mitigate, like. For, for free early on is uh, seems great so um, mind visions isn't great right now I guess we can kill the pig and uh, deal some damage over here I was dealt like no damage this fight. Well, 36 is more than I would have thought. The 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 cold hands <laughs> really held him back. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I guess I could have let... Uh, Nez go. I guess he, he wouldn't have been actually dealing damage, though. This is a pretty good card. That deals a ton of damage. Uh, an upgrade to Dispel Magic seems good, too. Um, I don't think we need an upgraded Knowing Whistle. Oh, and we get an up a free upgrade? Ooh. Um... I guess I'm just upgrading Life Tap. I might switch it to the other version at some point. I think that th this version is pretty good, though. Let's do that one. And same for Nez. And then here we can... Um, I don't think any of these upgrades are actually like really worth it. Uh, so I think I'm just going to do a chant of accuracy that comes out of the deck because at the moment these aren't very good but uh they, they eventually will be okay so we get to get a candidate for the team and uh, betty um which oh i almost clicked too many times that would have been terrible um so this lets you get a free shop in Act 4, which is amazing. I mean, the Act 4 items are just so good. The Mythics, so... Um, quite nice for us. So, 75% chance. I'm going to try it. If we don't make it, it's fine. Um, aha! Dang! <laughs> well, no hatch for us. We, uh, I guess this will be show you that uh, you don't need the hatch. <laughs> uh, it would be very good to, to have it, though, <laughs> I will admit. Um, I'm gonna go after the Rift Keeper, he's the guy who summons, and so seems good to try to get him off the field soon. Um, yeah, going into the hatch is, you get a ton of value, you get a bunch of experience, and, uh, yeah, it's pretty bad when you miss it, but, uh, we will, we will, we will try and see how it comes, comes through. Um, I think we need to kill some, or at least damage these rifflings. I'm convinced that the, the... We need, they do damage based on their, like, remaining health, and so I think us dealing damage to them and, like, doing the insane stacks on them seems effective, or I hope to, that it's effective in us taking less damage. Um... Um, I guess I'm just going to use it over here now. I don't really want to use the energy. I kind of want to save so we can use a Vitalizing Serenade next turn. Okay. An interesting hand we've got here. <laughs> I guess we don't need a fanaticism. Right well, next turn we might want to have 10 energy. Um, this one is going to explode, so I do think I'm going to hit it a couple of times and uh, reduce the damage it's going to deal to us. So yeah, this is the this is what it does. It deals X twice, where X is half of your health. So uh, Nez could have been in quite a lot of trouble there if uh, we hadn't dealt some damage to him. Okay, so this is very nice actually. Now that we can, I guess I will should be hitting this thing because I think it will blow up next turn. But it's then gonna summon two more. I don't love that. Maybe we'll have enough block here. And quite a lot of shield. I guess he's summoning this turn, so... Oh no, the Amnesia. Um, oh, uh... I 
guess that's fine. I just I didn't want him to summon two. So we'll leave this guy alive and uh oh yeah, nice. Gustav took him out. Um yeah, we'll sarcastic on it. I'll use this, it gets rid of an evasion and does a little bit of healing for the team. We have a lot of insane on us. I guess I'll use this first. Okay, summoner down, we can now Get into killing this guy, Na Mr. Nameless. Yes, we do have 47 chill on us. <laughs> that one might have been okay to keep. Ooh. It's a lot of dark. Um, I guess that's fine. What can you do, Amelia? Not much. <laughs> guess we can do that. Get a bunch of block. <laughs> Ow. I hope this guy doesn't kill anyone. Oh, he just hit the front line. Nice. Uh -huh. Ooh, that's a bunch of heal. We have so much insane on our team. The damage is reduced by quite a lot. Can we kill him here? Looks like we can. Nice. Alright. Missed the hatch, but this uh, fight went okay without that power. Or our healing flask. Probably not. <laughs> um, skip that. Skip these. Okay. <laughs> Corrupted Shadow Orb, huh? Um, a speed. Interesting. Um, what do I want to take? Because I definitely want these two on these two, I think. Who plays the most spells? It might be... I probably just want this on. I guess yeah. The she gets the ch the cold side of it. So let's go. Uh, but the rings are so good on Nez. So maybe I'll do rift here. Stone amulet. Eldritch ward there and old horseshoe here. Oh, wait, there was a drum there. Oh, I should have taken the drum. Oh, if only I could go back. Okay. Um, sure. Okay. Um, upgrade altar, remove one card. Probably don't care about that. Ouch. Gustav getting <laughs> a t 
attacked? What rude people. I think I will remove that. It seems dangerous to have on him. Especially with the cutthroat just still chilling here. Okay, um... I will life tap. I want the energy for sure. <laughs> um... Okay. Pretty good healing. Mm. Yeah, let's do that over the sarcastic sonnet. Wait a second. Oh! <gasps> Yeah, I took the wrong... Oh, dang it. I took the wrong talent. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess <laughs> sharp on him is increasing his dark damage. That's not good. I wanted the one where it uh, just doesn't go away, but... Oh well. Or you don't... Yeah, you don't lose charges. We'll kill that evoker. Ow. Okay, Amelia's gonna take a ton of damage here. Oh wait, I forgot. No, she has she has a spell sword. Never mind. She's fine. <laughs> Quite a good frontliner. Um, okay. Skip and They're honestly fine, I think. I'm um, taking the speed just because the. I think it'll be useful. Um, I think this is better in the late game. This is much better early, but this is better in the late game when you have more draw and whatnot. Purification. Um, you know, so I've tried Chilling Gaze a number of times, and it's not been good yet. <laughs> but maybe in the few, maybe we'll, maybe this time it'll be there. Okay, metalheads. We have old horseshoe for that. That's cool. Um. I think we would have a very hard time winning if we let them purge everything every round. <laughs> I think that would be very difficult for us. So let's skip it. <laughs> no, whoops. Oh, my mic is moving all over the place. I never, like, uh, there are definitely times where I, like, stop speaking into the mic, and, uh, I, like, notice on, on the, when watching it back that, uh, I just get very quiet for sections of the, of the run, I'm not even, don't even notice it. 
Um, well, let's hope Gustav's okay. This is not the hand. <laughs> I guess the speed boost is kind of nice. <laughs> um, okay, Nez. Save us, please. Uh, okay. Let's target down the Houndmaster. That guy's a jerk. 16 heals. Nice. Uh, came a little close, but not quite there. I'm killing the Houndmaster. Webcam, why do you keep losing focus very randomly? Why is so good? <laughs> I can't believe how good she is. Um... I will do that just to keep her block around a little bit longer. Okay, we are rolling here. <laughs> Let's get rid of that one. This one, this one. Well, these are. How much energy does he have? Four? I guess we could do one, two, three, four. How many cards is he drawing? Just the five? Five? I guess we could do this. Yeah, why not? <laughs> oh, I probably should have used the Eldritch Dis. Charge. Oh well. Okay, nearly a hundred uh, insane on him. Gustav should max it out here. Some good damage. Nice thing here to slow him and weaken him for turn one. And then I think I will speed boost Laya for next turn. Um, and Gustav is very weak. <laughs> It. I guess I, I could have saved it to maybe kill some ads and stuff, but... <sighs> 64 insane turn one is pretty nice. Everyone's contributing.
Okay. I mean, I guess I'll just use this. Ah, that seems fine. Um, I guess I just end like that. I guess I could. Oh, I probably should have put the purification or er, the. I should have used Expected Prophecy to put Lan Pause back on the top of the deck. It doesn't look like she needs it, though. Oh, she purged her uh, the taunt that was put on her. <laughs> that's funny. I always forget that that's a thing that can happen. Pretty low. This is kind of a slow fight, though. <laughs> Definitely are not s speeding through it. Bless over here. I'm not casting those just because, like, I don't really see it as an effective use of energy. Um, like, drawing through the deck right now. Like, you, you draw two, put two back, so you're not actually drawing additional cards. You're getting card selection. Um... But the um, the at the moment our energy like I want to put my energy towards cards that actually do stuff. I don't actually need to find the right thing, and so if my deck was full of like zero cost cards or whatever, then I could see using them more often. But it is not at the moment, so. Okay, chunking him down. Should win by at least turn six, maybe. Yeah, right now, actually. There we go. <laughs> um, it's an interesting one. I don't think I'm going to take it, but I could see that being good. But probably not right now. We get these honorable um, things in our deck, which are cool. Ooh, so... I guess... Fragrant armor... Wolfskin... Well, I might do... I'll just do Wolfskin Cloak on Gustav, actually. Just so that you like the ten percent resist is pretty nice, so 
Okay, and uh, I'm going to take a quick break before the boss, but uh, I'll be right back for you. Okay, I am back. Let's take a go at this f uh, fight. Amelia makes these just, like, feel pretty chill. Oh, whoops. Should have done this first. That's fine, though. I guess... I will do all this, and then I think Amelia does more damage early on. So I'll give her the draw, but not sure about that. It could have been Nez. Okay, so she didn't speed boost, so I think we kill her before she goes again, but I guess we will see. This is obviously not an ideal hand for killing her, but I don't know that... Well, I guess that's there, so... Okay. Dryad down. Um... He's used his first uh, AoE. Next turn is the laser. So I guess we will see how scary that's going to be. We didn't get purification before it, and we haven't found our prayer protections, but uh, I guess... We'll just have to wait and see. Um, um, I think I will use this. Okay, so we get lasered. I don't think anyone dies. Um, he has quite a bit of thorns. Hopefully we can have a good Laia turn here, but this isn't great. Okay, let's put these back, and then we can... Purification, Prayer of Protection, very good, and... I think get rid of that so we go before him next turn also. Just get more damage out there. Or damage mitigation out there with the block and whatnot. Um, I do want to be getting rid of the Sanctify wherever possible. Um, just so that... Uh, um, he isn't healing up as much. I guess we'll do that. It would have been nice to maybe Sarcastic Sonnet again. Maybe that would have been good, but... Okay. So he'll dispel, then he's going to be summoning. Um, okay. No more thorns to deal with for at least a little bit, which is nice. Um, let's 
get rid of that and then I guess we can just check those there. I think I do this just to get rid of the the little guys and uh, hopefully we can stack it up quickly. Forty two's not bad. Not great, but it's not not terrible. So he's gonna laser this turn. We have a decent chunk of uh, block here. I think I'll end there. Let's get rid of the Sanctify that was there. be fine here on all our characters, but... Okay. Took some damage, but, uh... Nothing that's too dangerous. Stacking up the chill on him. It's taking a while, though. We don't have the uh, cooling servos in this run, so... That definitely uh, affects how quickly she can actually stack up chill on herself. Because it's basically just this icicle and uh, icy veins each time through the deck. Okay, I do have my, all of my spell sword stacks up now, though, so that's like 10 extra damage per, per hit, which is nice. More summons. I think we have like two turns and then he lasers again. Uh, I don't remember exactly. Oh, okay. Gustav should kill him here. There we go. Uh, Betty stole it for her own... Oh. Oh, man. I wish this was on Gustav so bad. Uh, I'm going to take an entrench, though. Um, I'll take a... Do I want to take a shatter? I guess I will take a shatter. Um, we don't need any of those or these, I don't think. Okay, so... I think I just take a round shield and gold on everyone else. And then we head into the green portal. <gasps> we did it! Monster Trainer and this guy. Oh, this is a cool one where you can come up this way and then zoom down here. 
Oh, weird. So if we come over here, we could then zoom over here. That doesn't seem... Wait. Oh, wait, no. That doesn't work. Yeah. Probably not worth it. Because going in, we definitely are going into the Spider Queen layer. But we can fight this rift, right? Oh, that's actually really cool. So we can fight this rift and then just not take it and go out of the Spider Queen thing. That's going to be nice. Um, ooh. Um, okay, so let's buy a stone amulet for Laia. This is one of the better corrupted rings she can have. Basically, the two fortify really help. Like, it basically means when you cast your, your entrench, like it's going to be, you're going to have fortify until you get there again, for sure. And then you just get four charges, like four block charges, too. It's really nice. Um, Noble shield is also incredible. I think I'll probably take that on Laia. And then I think I'm going to buy a frozen orb on Amelia. Yeah, seems good. Um, Noble Shield just drawing an extra card every turn is amazing. So, oh, I didn't save enough for Rifty. Um, that's okay. I'm gonna upgrade Ockley. Um, it's a very valuable upgrade. So, um, seems that that's gonna be fine. I think. Um, okay, what do I actually want to add to the decks? Oh man, the the fact that we don't we aren't keeping our um, sharp is like a really real big bummer. Um, I am going to buy another one of these and then I think we'll remove these shivs now um Okay, I think we can take up the mental shakes and the healing reins. Um, I'm gonna buy a deja vu for Nez. And then I think I wanna upgrade it, but we're, I'm gonna look at the cost of everything first really quick um, of the other stuff I wanna do. Um, okay, we can take out the intercepts for sure. Um, I'm going to take out the clarities. Um, I've talked about this before, but I think because we really need more, a higher density of warrior cards in the deck, um, it's, uh, I, I just want fewer priest cards, even if they're like zero cost stuff that is normally fine. Um, hmm. Okay, Nez is going to want these upgraded. And I think we need to upgrade Lias also. And then, I mean, one thing I'd like to do is add a Blood Rage into the Lias deck, but I don't think we have the shards to do that right now. Um, we also, like, aren't basically just aren't changing... Amelia's. I think we can take out the ice barriers now. They aren't really doing much. Um, there's some. What did I add last time that I liked? Oh, I love Icicle Barrage. It's so good, but I think. I think for this act, I'm just going to sit and then we'll, we'll upgrade Laya's deck. 
Well, actually, hmm. No. No, we don't have enough for that. Um. Yeah, let's just sit. I'm gonna upgrade this deja vu. I'm not the church. Um. So we start filling his deck with deja vus, and um. Yeah, I think that'll be fun. And then we get to take out one card out of this deck. I'm debating on if I want to take out a Holy Nova. I kind of do. Yeah, let's take it out. And then... Um, I'm actually going to have one of these stay in the deck. And, uh, yeah. Okay, um, that seems good. Let's, uh, let's get going. Um, and then, so the route, we're gonna be going here, 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 over, over, down, 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 do the fight, go into the cave, which looks like we can. Um, and then do the cave, come out over here, and do this stuff. Or I guess we come out here and go here. Um... We do have a bunny to fight in the first fight. Um, I think this is doable. I guess we'll see though. Oh no. I'm just gonna end turn. Um, none of those cards seem impactful enough to be getting thorns on us, so. I will do this one and this one. AoE is obviously gonna be very good. Um, Let's do this. Oh, we don't have our... I was thinking we had our uh, ability, or our second level up for warrior duality, but we do not. Um, okay. Okay. Not sure how effective. I guess we don't really have anything. I guess his dark damage is increased right now. <laughs> we don't have to level up to actually have his mind damage increased by uh, um, by the sharp yet. Okay. Um. And then yeah, I'm just not gonna cast the low cost uh, or the stuff that. Uh, um, isn't helping us kill them. I will do that though. If it's not, yeah, killing them or staying alive, then I'm reticent to use it, so. Might be the wrong strategy, but I, I feel like it will be effective, so. We are gonna have like some really high thorns, guys, but if we get, <laughs> the, the barking from Fennec is, just gets me every time. Oh, what does this guy do? What? X equals your sight, wow. Here. Of course, we are going after Monty first. It's just like the, I think the thing we have to do. Um. He's dying very slowly. Um. Guess that's working out okay. 
a lot of damage. Yeek, yikes. Nez is getting slapped quite hard. Um, okay, so this one and... I guess this... Just because I want them to be able to heal up a little bit. Okay. I don't have any zero cost attacks in the deck. I guess I could draw into fanaticism. Uh, dang. Yeah, let's do that. Gustav is in a dangerous place with 10 vulnerable on him. <laughs> um, let's get rid of that and then just end. They are all pretty low on health, so... Okay... So we did that without ton. It wasn't wasn't too bad. Um, do I want another mind twist? I don't think so. I think we're fine. Um, do I want a curse of torment? Hmm. I can see curse of torment being okay. Steal from the village. Um, do we have anyone with the powerful? No. Okay, so I guess I will just take a flute here. And then, or not, not there. A war banner here, and then nothing. Then we can take... I guess we can take an Onyx Amulet. Um, flute is pretty good. So I will take it. If we get another Flute, it's like really, really nice for us. Okay, we now need to help the leader of the Crocman so we can get a free boat. <laughs> okay, get to start off with these and an entrench, which is nice. Okay. I guess I could have made Gustav go quicker, but it's probably fine. 
put this one back, and then we can use these two. Oh, him going into this sort of lagged really quickly. <laughs> Not sure why. Um. I think we just Frost Nova twice and get our Spell Sword stacks up. Um. Good so far. I do like the sight removing um, invis. It always just it feels nice whenever it happens. <laughs> Let's put that one back and then just save energy for next turn so we can have a cool crippling gaze. <laughs> oh, I keep playing this like I have the <laughs> the warriors uh, warrior duality to reduce the cost of cards, um, and I just, we just are not leveled yet. Um, I guess we'll kill him. I might have been able to do that better. Save a little bit of damage, like hit some one of the others with one of those, but... Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so, fanaticism, and I mean, I guess deja vu. <laughs> One health he's sitting with. Nice. And sure. <laughs> There we go. Get him. Uh, uh, uh. Don't need a Curse of Fragility. This would be amazing on Nez. Not very good on Laia. Um, battle plan is always pretty nice. Um, warrior card draws cards. Is sort of what we're what we're after. Ask him about the special reward. Oh, a Tesseract, huh? Uh, rusty Armor, the Corrupted version, is bonkers good. Holy crap, it's good. Um, we're going to be taking this on Nez, and that'll be his armor for the run. <laughs> it's so insane. Um, so, Tesseract. I mean, we could take this on Laia... Avoidance Caller, I'm not, I think I might take Avoidance Caller here. How often am I going to have a 7 cost in the hand? Not very often. But there's like a chance. I don't... The Sacred Tablet might just be better though. Yeah, let's take gold. 
Okay, Jack the Boat Seller, or when sent us here for a free boat. We gotta come over here. Okay, so there's a Reaper here. Uh, this guy is very dangerous. Um, he deals... He does a thing where... The... Depending on the difference in your speed... Um, he will uh, deal lots of damage. Um, and so... you We need to slow him down as much as physically possible um because yeah he's gonna basically hit laia for like a ridiculous amount if uh we don't slow him down so um because she's currently shackled so either have to get the shackle off of laia or something akin to that because it's not going to be good. Um, uh, let's do this so that she's quick. And then... Okay. Um, I'm going to use this just to see what we draw. Let's put that back and then... Hmm. Not the best here, because now... Mm -hmm. I guess Nez is the slowest, and he's pretty close, because, yeah, so it does this thing, where it applies X, Scourge, Dark, and uh, Chill to somebody. Uh, the slowest, and X is the difference in speed. So, we want to... Have them... Well, wait, if he's slower... If he's too slow, is that bad for us? I guess it is. I don't know. <laughs> uh... Currently, Nez is the slowest, so let's take a look at his deck. And then we can just get rid of those already. And let's put the fanaticism back and just end the turn there. Not the best turn there from <laughs> Gustav. <laughs> oh, this is a very good turn though from Laia. Okay, so it was five because he was five slower. So it's actually dangerous to get him too slow now. <laughs> Oh no, our Frost Nova. <laughs> oh, I hate amnesias. They are the worst. Um, I guess we are doing that. Not the not my favorite turn from Gustav, but... Okay. Ninety one, and he's at ninety three. It is a sad day. Okay, Reaper down should be good to for the rest of this fight. I'm not too worried about the rest of them.
while the pendulum spider is very annoying, it, uh, it isn't, like, super dangerous if it's just, like, doing its thing on its own, so. Um, it's usually, like, it uh, combined with some other very dangerous enemy that then really does you in. Um, since it like takes away your cards and it gets rid of your 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 curses and stuff that you're adding to them, so I guess I should have done this first. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can do this. I maybe I should be hitting the shredder. I'm not sure. Ow. <laughs> More hypnosis, whatever it is. Uh, I think I will just shatter here. His deck is uh, always amusing with deja vus running around. Ooh, nice. Some free shards. I'm not gonna use that because it could hit the could hit the scarab. And I don't want that scarab to die, so. One damage to the Scarab is probably fine. <laughs> deja vu. Deja vu. Mind twist. Draw. <laughs> Into deja vu. <laughs> Deja vu and deja vu. <laughs> I love that card so much. It's just like, it's just fun. It's not good. We're on round six. It's like, oh, wow, this thing is at one. <laughs> oh, thank God we didn't have a pet on Amelia, or we would have lost that uh, those shards. Um, Deja Vu takes so long to scale, but it's just fun when it does, so... <laughs> hmm. Clairvoyance? No, 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 no. Um... I'll take some sharpening knives, why not? Let's attack them, because we stole from their village and they're upset and... As always, we're the good guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Amelia really gets hit hard when she uh, doesn't have the spell sword stacks. Um, I guess this is just better. Okay. Uh, yes, please. That was a pretty good turn. Let's speed everyone up.
No hiding for any of you. It's against the rules. Okay. There we go. Mm, I guess we'll just entrench. I, uh, double perfication is probably better, <laughs> but entrench, I don't know, it's, it's fine too. Um, sure, let's start off with this and this and get to ice lance and yeah, I'll use that. Just a bunch of damage. Okay. Let's just do that. Seems good. everyone is at like 10 health from having full stacks of insane then uh, it is uh, quite easy to end a fight <laughs> nothing uh, I don't think I need another fanaticism like we uh, we want our warrior cards on that side of things so nice we got our level up um, time loop is where we're at for now. I, Frost Swords, I don't think is very good. I don't know what Frost Discharge does, but it doesn't... It just doesn't seem quite... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Wait, there's a... I didn't realize that uh, frost. It, it, when you, it's whenever you, you reach five, like ever, like every turn, you get a frost discharge. That's kind of cool. I want to try this out now because I don't actually. I wasn't even thinking about it when, like, when you reach five spells forward, you get a frost discharge every time. So, I'll try it out next time. We'll see. Warrior duality is awesome. Um, I'm going to take resourceful just so that we can, like, uh, so the stuff in his deck, the expected prophecies, the banish, these are free, and any more expected prophecies we can get are going to be good. Um, and uh, Shrill Tone for Gustav. Now Gustav gets to give us a free upgrade, which is sweet. Um... I guess I'll do this one, because there's not anything else that's good. Um, battle plan upgrade is great. Um, and then, I guess... I feel like we're not casting Mind Twist that many times a fight. Let's upgrade it to this version and see how that does. Um, I also, I think I like that one better, but I guess we can upgrade one of these other things. Just to get the value. Okay. Um. Cool. Everyone use theirs? Yep. 
Now we get to train Ockley for Mortal Kombat. And we can take a second Ockley. Oh, wait, I guess... Huh. I guess I should have trained Orby and then corrupted Ockley. But I don't know. Maybe we'll get another corrupted. Uh, we'll get another pet trainer, and we'll get a corrupted, uh, a second corrupted Ockley. Um. Okay, we don't have anything to sell him. That's fine. We will come over here to the rift and do a rift fight. Um, I guess we should target this guy down a little bit. Reducing the amount that he... Reducing the amount he explodes for is good, as I talked about in Act 1. Um, I use that, uh, the Eldritch Discharge, um, just because um, I, I like using it before we get too many stacks up. Um, like, using it early just gives you the extra draw, extra energy, and uh, you then get to start stacking up again quickly and when you get up to five you can get it you get it back anyway for free in your deck so um i'm gonna get some sharp um Guess we are not that fast, but okay, we have a ton of block. Um, uh, Lia is just so good at what she does, so. Mm. Oh, this is free. We should use that for sure. Okay, we get one more. Oh, that's actually fine in the deck. Um, probably should have put the deja vu's in my discard pile before I shuffle the deck. Uh, I guess I'll shuffle again next turn, so it's fine. That's some good damage. Everyone's about equal on the damage charts at the moment. always an interesting interesting way to do things. It's not often that I have runs that are like this, but it's fun when it works out that way. Okay. 
guess I could have maybe drawn more, but... I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. This is fine. He's gonna kill himself, and then we'll, uh... Be done with the fight. Nice. So, let's skip that. Don't need to terrorize. I will take a sharpen, though. Giving that out is pretty good. Um, vexing Crescendo is actually pretty nice. Man, the hiccups. Where did those come from? Okay. Which sword is interesting? Oh, Dimension Crystal is cool. Um... Um, let's go here. And then I really wanted to corrupt this one. That would have been nice. But Eldritch Sword is fine. Um, which cloak? Probably not. Let's just skip here. Let's take a... Well, I could... Maybe Dimension Crystals. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go... Rift Shards, Dimension Crystal... And then... I guess just nothing here. And then Eldritch Sword for Gustav. Um, we don't want to travel all the way across the map, so let's try jumping down together and see how it works. Okay, we failed, but we did not break our legs, so that is helpful. Um, we could do this and get a shop. There could be cool stuff in a shop. Okay, Fearless, that's annoying. They are going to take way less damage from us now. <laughs> nice. Let's just kill this guy, I think. Oh, the Heretic is also really annoying. Wait, no, this is this is the different one. There's another one that's like the heretic, another bird person that um, is very annoying, but... Um... Guess we get two healing rains. <laughs> Why not? Uh, let's put this and this back, sure. And then... Oh, this isn't targeted. Well... Well, oh, we'll get it upgraded eventually, I guess. I forgot that it needs to be targeted first before it does much of anything. Okay. Slowly whittling them down by adding insane. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. Okay, nobody's dark is about to proc at least, so we got that going for us. Lots of defense there from Laya. Ooh, man, these scrolls are so bad. I need to get out of the deck soon. <laughs> I guess this is fine because it's free. Those are all good cards, so I'll leave them there and let's just uh, kill this guy. Um, the Dimension Crystal could be cool uh, with Laia if we get like one of the AoE spells that give uh, Bless. Um, we could save it for that each time. Um, that's one of the reasons why I um, decided to take it on her, because that seems pretty sweet. Uh, immune to vulnerable. I guess I'll send it over there. Uh... And some Sanctify for a little bit of healing, and... Well, let's put the Mind Visions back. We can do another one of these, and put Clairvoyance back. Hmm. She'll AoE him, I think, so let's just, uh, use these two over here. Ow. Okay. Everything looking good so far in this act. Just gonna end the turn. <laughs> He's uh, done plenty. And there we go. Ooh, another icy veins. Ooh, meditate. Yes, please. Um. I will take a Dispel Magic. This is free when you cast it, and that's a ton of Dispel, so... Um, I don't think we need another Icy Veins. Um, uh, the setup isn't upgraded, and he's really short on energy, so... I think I'm just gonna take Shards here. Ooh. This is very good. Um... Uh, I, I feel like Amelia has been, like, pretty safe with what she has, so I think I'm just going to take this on Gustav, and he can be super tanky. Um, none of these others are very interesting. I might have taken Amulet of Protection if I could on Laia. Oh, wait, no, that's a... That's a ring, so never mind. Um, so yeah, I think we're good. Um, let's get shards over a shop. I think golden shards is probably better. I mean, the shop, maybe shop would have been good. There are some busted items that we could get, like the, the dark ring for, for Nez. 
The like when you apply insane, apply dark, and um, some of the other things like that would would be very very good for our team. Intruder. Oh, I hate halberdier, but oh man, Collins here too. This is a terrible fight. I dislike everything about this. Ow. I hope Laia has a good first turn. Okay. Um, I guess I'll do this. Ooh, nice. Let's put those back, and then we can draw. And then we can draw more. And put this one back. And then use this, and... Oh, we get two of these? That's so good. Oh, man. Oh, I totally forgot about the thorns. <laughs> oh, lion, no. Um... Yes, this is how I don't. Whew. I am very worried about this fight. Okay, we have a chunk of block this turn from the shield. Okay, this guy does like... So he does fastest hero equals the number of speed. Okay, that's fine actually. Um... I think... Something like that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Looking good on our side. I think we... Should be able to take this one out. I guess we'll see though. Okay. Maybe Gustav can can deal some good damage on his turn. Ah, dang it, I was hoping it would hit Colin. I guess Amelia goes for- oh no, she doesn't, never mind. I'm not casting that. I do think I just want to get to th five stacks. Um. Okay. Oh, no. 
I guess I'll mental shake, sure. Our damage is like very low in this fight. We're not. Not. This is taking a while, that's for sure. Um. Oh, well, there goes a the dark proc on Nez. <laughs> we have a lot of block, but. Okay, there is some damage, finally. Ow. Nez, <laughs> heal us up, please. Okay, ouch. Okay, well, I have to kill him. It's not an option, so... Oh, a Scourge Scarab. Why not a good one? So many electric pulses now. Um, I, I guess the others would have been better, but I draw at least one electric pulse. Like two. It looks like three. Oh my God. Oh, don't draw electric pulses, please. No, no. Oh. Uh, um, okay, so what is this guy doing? He's stealing the... I think we're okay. Okay. Ness is just extremely low. <laughs> uh... Sure. That seems good. Okay, so we're getting in here fast, so hopefully we can... <sighs> Don't target Nez, please. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Yikes. Okay. Okay. Put those back. Use this. Use all these. Okay. There we go. Let's use this, because why not? And. Oh, thank you for that. 
We can get all of this out of here. Why not? I think it's, it's sort of nice to just like clear out his deck. I guess I should have used these expected prophecies. <laughs> would have been would have been good. Oh well. Um, it's nice to just sort of clear out his deck so we can get to deja vu stuff quicker. Woo! Okay, nice stuff going on here. Let's see who's topping the damage charts. Nez or oh, Amelia, just by a little bit. Everyone else is close behind, though. Well, I should be doing this first, I guess. No, my deja vu. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Such a sad turn. <laughs> my poor deja vu. It's gone forever. Do -do -do -do. Oh, I should have used this first. It would have uh, given a discount on this. Ah, uh, your cursed courage. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's not much sight being applied at the moment. <laughs> Maybe someday, if we get a madness ring, it'll happen. Okay. Gustav coming out with the damage. Spell swords, pretty sweet. So cold. I need like to go get a sweater. We'll probably do that after this fight because I'm freezing. Oh, we get another cast. It's interesting that Amelia is uh, our highest damage dealer at the moment. It doesn't feel like she's doing all that much, but I guess there are turns where she's like doing quite a lot. But forty-seven. Ooh, scroll of intellect is sweet. Um, it's like an upgraded setup. Uh, do I want a pummel that is upgraded? <laughs> if we get the, um, if we get a golden bell, then it's pretty sweet. Um, and, and just because of that, I'm going to take it. It's pretty bad, though. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go get a sweater, and uh, I will be back in a sec. 
Okay, let's take a look at this. 29%, probably not worth it. Let's fight this spider queen. Whew. Still very chilly. Okay, so in this fight, we want to kill the adds first. Um, that's going to be best for sure. Ow. It's not very nice. Well, <laughs> not, not great here. Let's we'll see what Laya can do. This pummel is already here to haunt me. <laughs> um, I guess it's free. <laughs> That's funny. Um, <laughs> it's an interesting turn. I did not uh, expect to be doing any of that that turn. Okay, Amelia cocooned. Far too many uh, curses ahead of the um, ahead of that to get it. Uh, Or to remove it, so she will lose her turn, unfortunately. Put back chilling gaze and then put back chilling gaze again. Let's get rid of all of that and I guess clairvoyance could be good. Okay. This fight might be a little slow going, but uh, I think we'll be okay. With, uh, with us not dying on that very first turn, then I, I think, or like early on when Laia got super low, then I think we'll be okay. Okay, cool, adds down. That's very helpful. We have a bunch coming out, but that's like a future problem. And they they do far less than the than the main ads that, that start here. Okay. Just gonna use this to get the the spell sword stack and uh, it'll come back once we get up to five. Um, not too bad. <laughs> okay, so Amelia loses another turn. Unfortunately, she still takes poison damage. <laughs> That's uh, not super nice. Um, okay. I don't know why I use that sharpen. <laughs> Sometimes I'm used to it just being freeze, and so it's like, uh, 
the... Well, let's see if we can find our clairvoyance, yeah. Uh, 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 I mean, yeah, I'm used to it being free because it's like discounting something else, so... Um, I guess I'll use this, and then we'll put a deja vu on top. Um, I guess this costs less and does about the same, so... Okay. Quite a lot of sharp gathered up here by Gustav. Okay. <laughs> Probably need to get rid of these annoying whistles. They are very expensive. <laughs> uh, unfortunate draw order there, but... So I haven't gotten up to the five yet, so I guess we do this, and then this one. Hopefully we can kill her now before sh uh, she goes again. easy to stack up uh, insane with the deja vus which is quite nice when uh, you have other people doing insane damage or mind damage I guess um, we'll skip the book worm oh Toby's wanting to go out I'll uh, take him out now one sec okay so I want to terrorize. Probably not. It's really expensive. Um, ambush. Seven times your stealth. <laughs> uh, let's say no. Um, do I want a benediction? Probably not. So it is kind of interesting. Okay. Anything cool in here? Ooh -wee. Um, so free lover is just amazing. It's like so good. Um, so let's take that, and then probably nothing on Amelia. I guess we could take a ninja scroll. Maybe that's better. Um, now we get our spider queen eye. Um, and... I guess just nothing on Gustav. Serenity ring with spider queen eye is uh, kind of cool. Just more ways of getting cool stuff from having regen. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Um, this is interesting. I think we might be able to do this, but I, I, it is a very scary one, so I will pass just in case. I think, like, if we have a bad turn one or two, then, like, it sort of just ends the, the run, and so... Like, I think if, if Lai has a good turn one slash two, then, like, that would have been fine. But, uh... The fact that it can sort of all just collapse on us if, uh... If it doesn't go perfectly is a little scary. Okay. So, let's do that. Okay. 
guess this is better than the other stuff we could do. Sky being immune to insane is very sad. Okay, almost killed the heretic. I think if we can do that, then should be feeling pretty good about this. Okay, so that takes him out. Oh, here one sec. Okay. Um, let's remove that and then... Hopefully keep everyone alive. This is fine. Oh, he stole our vitality. That's lame. This guy is uh, dealing a bunch of damage, but added quite a bit of... <laughs> we gave him a ton of fury, so now he's uh, going to be hitting himself for quite a lot. I guess maybe I should just have Amelia go first so that you could, she could maybe give Nez some energy, but I guess we can get rid of like a Mind Visions and a Mind Blast and then draw into some good stuff. Let's put back this one and... Take that guy out. <laughs> oh, I could have saved an energy there. Oops. I'm trying to remember in German if there are any German viewers uh, tuning in. I know there's about 5% of my audience is German. Um, is uh, is the is the word for oops I, I, I feel like it's hoopla but maybe I'm misremembering and that's something else. Let me know. If you if, if you uh uh, no German, and uh, I would be. I because I think it. I think it's hoopla, but. Um, I guess just this. Let's put that back, and then we can. Oh, we should have. We shouldn't have put that back. We could have used it and then drawn a fanaticism. To deal some more damage, but not oh well. Um, let's do this. Do -do, put those back. I guess I'm just fixing crescendo, and then the whispering. Oh, I should have used this one. I guess it doesn't matter. He died anyway. Um. Okay. So let's grab a recurring nightmare. That one's great. Um. 
skip this one and these and these. Okay, let's do hatred first. So they get their reinforce. We do the other two damage types, so pretty easy choice there. Mm. I think our decks are going to get a lot better after this act. <laughs> we have a bunch of shards to work with, and uh, they're just some, like, weird cards that are going on here, so... I guess we can use this. Okay. Um, I guess we'll start here and then move on to Amelia after that. Um, Nez can get the draw. Okay. Oh, I should have banished first. Well, I guess I can banish now. Mm. So we can just get rid of those, sure. Let's put the Chilling Gaze back. Deja Vu, and then use this one. We'll keep a Dispel Magic around. So, one sec. Um, okay. So... Oh, hit the invulnerable guy. It's fine though. Um, I guess we draw first. Um, oh, I guess I should have. Uh, oh no, these are fine. Oh, that, like, worked out perfectly. <laughs> Somehow. That was the best possible thing that could have happened. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now we chilling gaze and then clairvoyance and two deja vu's. Oh wait, no, we only had one up for one. That's fine though. I think chilling gaze has been worse in almost every situation than than night terror would have been. But I'm. Still, I still am holding out hope. <laughs> okay. So if we do this, then this costs three, and then we can just entrench. Okay. It has been a fairly bad card so far. <laughs> we just do not apply all that much um, sight at the moment. Let's deja vu back. Um, I guess we'll do this. We can shuffle it in. Um, let's put that one back. And I guess...
guess clairvoyance is fine. <laughs> Yikes. So much poison over here. Um, I think I go with sharpening knives, even though it's a lot of damage to miss out on. But, man, that's just so much poison over there. Okay, so we can get rid of that. That's nice. Let's put that one and that one back, and then we can, we can draw them. Okay. Not too bad. I, we're slowly taking them down. We do we do have one summon so far, so uh, just keep up the deja vu. <laughs> Okay, I guess we'll target that. I guess we probably should have done two smaller cards since uh, he had the buffer, so we weren't getting the vulnerable on him anyway. Hmm. Okay, good job with the block, Laia. Keeping everyone very safe. So, we can use this to then put all of the stuff back in her deck. So now she has like a bunch of zero cost things. I guess only two. Eh, not very good yet. Um. I guess just two deja vus, like, is less energy than a mind twist. Um, I guess I'm doing a clairvoyance. Maybe I should have just saved the energy. That probably would have been better. Oh, my nose is running from allergies for whatever reason. I haven't had that, that, that happen in a while. Hmm. So, let's get that off. We can do some more sharp. <laughs> it just keeps summoning. Yeah, I'm going to be changing Amelia's deck around a little bit to hopefully um, incorporate more ways of giving energy. So... Hopefully that will uh, that'll help out. I think everyone on the on the on the team, everyone's a little bit, especially like, I mean, Gustav and Nez are both like quite energy starved, and uh, Amelia's like uh, could definitely use more. <laughs> the random crack from uh, Shatter is <laughs> mattering. There is funny. Um, so I guess 
We do these. Sure, I'll just kill him. Now just the fake Hydra is left. Nez <laughs> taking some poison damage. Nothing to worry about. Now. Let's draw some more deja vu's. <laughs> Everyone loves it. Okay, Hydra fight down. Ooh. Let's take another battle plan, I think. And then... I will take a replenishment, because I think this, this one that burns is going to be good. And... Nope, for those... Get some loot. Okay. Okay, so... Man, what do we want here? So... I think basically we have to take Hydra Egg here. Um, I think I will grab... Because of that, I'll grab Fountain Pen on Amelia, even though I think Fountain Pen on Lia is better, but Hydra Egg is just going to be too good. Um, giving out four regen to everyone each turn means then also giving out a bunch of vitality to everyone each turn, so it's uh, one without the other doesn't quite do it justice. So, um, And after that, I think we're just taking gold. Okay, and then let's go... Well, hmm. So I was going to go blue portal, and then we could uh, get the thing for... I guess we could get it for Laia, and it'd be okay. I don't think she... She doesn't have any of the cold damage, though. Does she have wet charges? Oh, we, we don't even have wet increasing cold damage. So, we could go red, and then go and get, well, no, that's not actually very good. Hmm. <laughs> what do I want to do? Is there anything in yellow that's sweet? Probably. Let's see, are there any, like, uh, items... Let's look at the Tome of Knowledge really quick. Items, um, insane. Is there anything cool here? Cursed card is kind of nice. You get plus two insane charges. And then you get two free of these curses every time you play something. Um, I mean, Singing Sword you can't get anywhere, though. Hypnosis shells, whatever. What does this thing do? All damage plus, plus minus minus damage for every weird a weird card. Uh, all the rings are unavailable. Beer mug. Not quite what we're looking for. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I think I think blue's probably the way to go. But uh I could see an argument for a different one. Um we did not get the pet trainer unfortunately. We do have this way down over here if we wanted to use it. Um We could go to the armory. See what we get here. <gasps> oh. What the? <laughs> uh, 
Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what am I... Ah. <laughs> okay, well, um, I'm buying this no matter what. This is insane. Ah, so good. Um, oh, wait, we have Terror Ring. Hmm. This is actually really cool. We can get black deck too. And then he'll be we will stack up dark charges to 30, which is sweet. Um so yeah, let's do this. We don't have enough for golden bell, but it, we would we'd be giving up hydra egg for it and I'm not even sure that that's worth it. I do love golden bell on Lia though. Um especially once you get up to this one where you always heal. Um you don't have to be at full, and so you basically, like, whenever you attack, you apply, like, a ton of bless to everyone on your team. Um, that's actually the reason why I took the pummel in the first place, <laughs> was for that, but then I just totally forgot that we were doing the free lover high drag stuff. Um, but no, these items are insane. Like, holy crap. We now have a <laughs> we now have an, a corrupted fountain pen. We have a terror ring. Um, yeah, that's that's wild. Um, okay, well, uh, we've got to get books in our deck. Um, I think that's the main thing I'm going to focus on here. Um, so let's just look up books. So we definitely want a shifting scroll. Definitely want a Tome of Intellect, because those can start in the opening hand. Um, I think I'm going to definitely get a clear instructions. Um, uh, I am... Well, hmm, let's take out this Icicle. Let's take out Dark Future. It's just been pretty bad. Um... I think I just want this side of Frost Nova. Um, let's upgrade this. Let's upgrade this. Um, let's... Oh, I guess this thing starting in the opening hand is fine, too. And upgrade clear instructions. Um, man, are there other books book, 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 that I want? We could get another scroll of intellect. This one stays in the deck, but it costs a bunch. I, uh, so I don't know that I want that. Uh, Book of Nightmares. It's kind of cool, but it's very expensive. Um, I think I'll just take a scroll of intellect and have it this way. Um... And, yeah, I think that'll be f good. Um, we might want to take out some more cards from this deck, but maybe it's okay. Um, so, here... Oh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, I wanted to upgrade this Sharpen so I can target it. Um, I wanted to upgrade this to a zero cost one. I wanted to take out these annoying whistles. And I'm going to take out some sweet melodies. Um, let's see, I guess... I guess they're all songs. Um, yeah, I don't really have any good ones to add. 
I mean, I can make this zero cost. Uh, one cost that stays in the deck is probably fine. Hmm. I don't know how often I'm going to play that. Um. Hmm, I do... I think, uh... I think I will add in a, some energy stuff into Amelia's decks. Um... And then... I think I'll do this one, too. I kind of want to... Yeah, let's change this Curse of Torment over to this version that burns. Um, mainly just so I can get it back in the deck when, when we do our stuff. It'll be free at that point. Which, actually, I guess for that, then I'll... I probably want this Mana Surge, too. Because then it'll leave the deck and come back. Um, I think I will remove one scroll of speed, just because it's pretty terrible. Um, yeah. Okay, um, I think I'm pretty happy with all of this. Um, yeah, I guess I, I never got a, um... Anything for Laya, but no, nah, I guess we're, we're we're totally fine on Laya. She's she's gonna do great. We have a lot more warrior cards in here than usual, which I like. Um, huh, yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, let's 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 get going. I don't. I hadn't chosen a path yet. Um. Hmm, one sec. Okay, so I... Hmm. I think it's this way... Yeah, well, I think we have to go this way anyway, since... uh, Let's give the man... I don't remember... I think it's this location that you get stuff from if you do that, but I'm... I don't remember. Oh, this guy's immune to... Insane, that's sad. Both of... Well... I guess that's fine. Oh, hmm. Well, I guess I didn't do this correctly, but it is what it is. Um... Let's see what we draw. Let's put this one back. I don't know, those two. Speed boost Laya for next turn. That'd be nice. Okay, so Tome of Intellect. Oh wait, we only need two. I'm I'm used to having or needing three books in the opening hand, but we actually only need two, so we should change that book to be the one that draws. Okay, so. 
mean, I guess this is fine. Um, get all these mine blasts out of here. Nice. <laughs> Some dark damage. Okay, so let's buff up there. Buff up there. All of the block and shields. Oh, dang it. Um... I... yeah, I got to... Oh, wait, does that only... Let's see, where where is this? Um... When you cast a spell, reduce the highest cost spell in your hand. Oh, okay. So it doesn't work on the three cost uh, replenishment. Um, sure. Crystal Scarab. That would be great to get hold of. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. I hope I I hope that uh, Gustav doesn't just one shot the scarab, but uh, <laughs> it could happen. Oh, twenty one. Not the worst. Um. Mass and visibility. Oh, wait, that probably made the, him now deal more damage. Oh, okay. Didn't quite kill it, so. So we missed a performance bonus for that, but it's definitely worth it. Okay. I'll skip those. Uh...
Eternal Lullaby. Probably don't need that. It costs a lot. We're still not the best at giving out energy. We'll get better. Ooh. They are coming at us here. Okay, let's see here. Oh, this guy's immune to insane also? We had a rough first couple of fights. Hmm. I guess I don't have any... I really need, like, another life tap or something. Probably should have played the prayer protection there. Whew, man. It is hard to decide what to actually do with Nez's hands. <laughs> like. Oh, wait, I didn't have... Oh, I guess this works out fine. Whew. Okay, so Nez is taken off in the damage. Gustav's still ahead, but... Uh, I think Nez is going to start dealing quite a lot. Amelia is sort of taking a back seat here with a more supporting role which is cool i mean i like when a comp can like you can basically change it a lot on the fly based on who is act like who who gets the right items and who finds the build right um so i think that that's always fun for me I think getting some vitality here is fine. I guess we already have a punch. I always forget that Laya is like just doing doing all that. Gem. Don't mind if I do. I really want to get this spell sword up to five. Would have been nice to do it this turn so that we got it all in our deck for next turn, but. I guess there's some order here that could be better, but. <laughs> Hmm. 
I guess this gives us, put some sight on the enemies, so not too bad. Man, this enemy, this, uh, the nomads deal so much damage for being like a normal mob. gonna remove the chill here so that we could she could have gone before them might have been good probably fine not to though okay so let's do a shatter puts all the stuff in our deck and then we get to draw I uh, guess this is worth it. We should be able to heal her up a little bit here, even though, even with the decay. So they are dead for sure. That was good timing on that speed up. <laughs> uh, I think Amelia would, had like a decent chance of dying there. Oh, I guess I could have used that, but... Oh, well. Deal some damage. Not a ton, though. <laughs> okay, so... We now get to cast a bunch of free cool spells. just seems good for now. Let's... <laughs> oh no. Nine, ten, ten. I guess I should have just given all the energy to Gustav. <laughs> that would have been so much better than what we're doing right now. <laughs> he actually deals some amount of damage. <laughs> yeah, he definitely would have uh, killed him, I think, if we'd given him all the energy, but... Her deck does fill with books fairly quickly. 
Oh, now that he has some, well, even a little bit of vulnerable on him, he's dealing way more damage. <laughs> okay, so nothing there. Ooh, do I take a never-ending story? Yeah, that seems fun. Why not? <laughs> Okay, he we he didn't ignore us. Um, I just don't want to deal with this. I think we could probably do it, but Amelia's kind of low, and uh, hopefully we don't die. Okay, didn't random Amelia? Thank you, God. Ooh. Okay, no random. Oh, thank God. Okay. So after that last one, we should be able to, at least I hope we can heal up a little bit. Put a Frost Nova in the yard, we can... Give some energy here, we can draw some coins, we can do this one. Okay. So, without cooling servos, Amelia does, um, like, I, I, it's very noticeable now how much less, um, it's very noticeable now how much less, uh, she is uh, able to, or yeah, she's. Uh, what am I even trying to say? Um, the amount of chill she is able to apply is far less than uh, with the cooling servos. So I think I li I think I like the cooling servos. I think I'd probably do that in the future. It does require a much more involved re-roll at the beginning to get the right seed that then has like the the pl bouncing around and stuff that you need to for to get cooling servos in a good in a good way but um i do think it's worth it um oh um yeah let's just try to murder colin Okay, thank you. Lay on pause. You are glorious. Okay, we can have Gustav draw a card. Maybe I should have just have had Evelyn do it and then we could have, uh, Gone a little bit more. I had Gustav deal a little bit more damage, but with uh, some draw and whatnot. But let's give one there, one there. We can do that one. Okay, we get to kill Colin, which is cool. And toss some stuff over there. These ice lances are pretty bad. They probably should be... I probably just need to swap the upgrade, though, and they'll be okay. Might want to take him out. But... Okay. 
Ow. Okay, that was a good uh, chilling gaze turn. Very close on damage in this fight. Let's do that a bunch. <laughs> That's cool. Not often that I play Neverending Story, but yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, let's skip that. We don't need another clairvoyance. Or another sharpening knife, I don't think. Oh, I forgot to change the sharpening knife upgrade. Let us loot. Oh. Interesting. I didn't even see this rift. That's a cool path. You could come... You could, like, come this way. Or you could even, like... Wait. No, I guess, yeah. You, you, you could come to the inn and then do armory, which is not something you could do before. Do we get curses? We get three curses. Hmm. A ball lightning, huh? <laughs> Let's get a rare shop. We could we could hit the nuts. I don't know what that is right now, but there's I'm sure there's some item that would like win the run. Ow. Guess we'll do that. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Um, cool. Do, do, do. Um, so, wait, does this give us spells? Sword stack? Nice, it does. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. I was pretty sure it would, but. <laughs> Put this one and this one back. Do, do, do. Put this one and this one back. And then purification. And sharpen. And draw. I guess we'll take that off. Okay. Chilling gaze. Um. Let's see if we can find... Oh, dang. Um. I was hoping to find a fanaticism for this turn, but... at her.
Not Amelia! We need her! She gives us mana! <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could have hit anyone who actually had Sanctify. Ooh, that's a cool mana surge. Uh, I guess I'll use this just to heal up a little bit. Okay, I can put Never Ending Story back and use it next turn. This Dung Beetle is kind of annoying, but. What do I have in here? I guess we can banish the Cold Feet and uh, draw the three others. And maybe I should be killing the dung beetle, I don't know. Uh, guess this is fine. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, battle plan, put those back. Okay. Just one of these, another battle plan, put these back. Well, maybe I should be giving, I don't know. I could be giving damage to other people, but. Amelia's uh, damage has definitely dropped off since I added all these uh, energy cards to her deck, but I think it'll ramp up again when she gets Rift Force. Um, that'll deal quite a lot of damage, I suspect. Well, I guess I'm just casting this a bunch. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Ooh, uh, Mana Gem is awesome. Um, if I want an Anthem, I probably do. These are some good items. Um, I think Archmage Book is just bonkers on Nez. Um, I'm trying to think. What what am I aiming for? For Nez. Oh, probably this. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there was a... Oh, I was going to get black bo or black deck on him. I forgot. Um, maybe I just get Archmage Book on Gustav. Get rid of the Spell Sword stacks. That's probably fine. Uh... 
Um, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. <gasps> we leveled up? I mean, this one would be pretty good, just to... Yeah, I guess we don't have the charges for it, so yeah, Rift Force is going to be sweet. Um, we have an attack, but I think... I think I really like Heavenly Protection. I think it's fine, especially with like her being our only damage dealer. Um... Let's take Chosen One, and then Ethereal Weapons is sweet. Okay, Advisor Story, Starving Ratman. I think... Okay. Free upgrade. What, what would we do with a free upgrade for everyone? It would be like a mana gem here. Or a recurring nightmare. It would be... Nothing really of importance here. Um, nothing there. Nothing here. So... I think we remove cards. Yeah, I think we remove cards because even if somebody dies, we get to remove the death door in this fight. So as long as we don't just fully wipe, which I'm hoping we don't, then we'll be good. Ooh, amnesias and... Um, the shocks in our deck are gonna... and cold feet. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. Oh no! Why couldn't you just... Oh my gosh. That's so bad for us. Um, put that and that back. Oh man. If we'd had the one, if it just like let us keep the one prayer protection, we'd be in a much better, much better shape right now. Okay. I think I just keep my one stack of evasion that I somehow have. Oh yeah, she has like the ninja scroll, that's right. I was like, how did she even get that? <laughs> um Oh, he puts he puts it on himself too. I totally forgot. Um, let's get rid of those. Yes. Okay. Well, he healed us up pretty well though with that. Also, be careful and watch for that, but. Uh, I mean, that was a pretty good turn, really. Mm. 
Never ending story and I don't know that one on top. Okay. Ooh, okay. Um Okay, lots of healing. <laughs> we are now in good shape, it looks like. I guess I'll do this. Seems fine. Pretty good damage there. <laughs> this is a... I, I, I expect it to be very good. So now that we have her damage transform... Like, when she transforms her damage into insane, then we don't have to rely on the chill stuff and get to do a lot there. So it's pretty nice. Uh, whoops, I guess I should have kept the fanaticism. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> everyone just getting like so much free inspire is very enjoyable. Decks when you get like this much inspire, just like so fun. Okay, let's put this one back. We can just use another deja vu. And I guess I'm mind vision. And Betty gets the kill. Ooh. Probably nothing here. I could take an anthem. I don't want too many in my deck. Actually, no. I'll take I'll take a second anthem. Um I don't think I need the equivalent exchange thing. Okay. Um, so, wait, where is the cold feet thing? Oh, I know she doesn't have it. Okay. Let's take out the cold feet in these decks. And then I think these two ice lances come out. Actually, I'll take a scroll of speed out. Now that I've seen how the deck functions, I think we have enough books that we don't need that. Um, here. Hmm. I'm going to take the pummel out. This hasn't really been doing much. Um, we can just take a mind well, the Holy Smite, eh. Yeah, the Holy Smite just costs a lot. Hmm, we'll do a Mind Blast, why not? It's, like, not that big of a deal. 
Um, I'm going to take out this Vitalizing Serenade. I don't think we need it anymore. And I keep casting it when I probably shouldn't. So, um, cool. What does this one do? Hmm. Nope. Uh, let's get him. So he's immune to chill, but uh, not our insanity, so. <laughs> I guess this one first. So uh, let's get one of these and one of these. I guess I could be giving Laya some extra energy. Probably should give a little bit of energy to her, but... So, could he use a couple of other spells? Maybe that was better, but. <laughs> Just procking dark on myself all the time. one back and okay he's transferring all his curses to us what a jerk That one back. Okay, Rift Force one. Gustav next turn. Maybe he can do something cool. Oh, I should have done this. Whoops. He's at one. Or I guess 24 dark, not... Not one. Um, I guess I'll do this then, because that prox is dark, and then we'll kill that guy. I think I had more prox of my thing, but... Ooh. Those back, one more of these, and lots of damage. Let's see. 
Yeah, both of them are really cranking up the damage. This will be a good turn. Uh, well, maybe it's a good turn. <laughs> oh, she's trying her best. Okay. Let's just uh, blow up all this stuff. And then we can deja vu for more. <laughs> Pretty cool. A corrupted heavenly blessing for Nez. <laughs> uh... You know what? I'm considering this. <laughs> um... I, I do wonder how many times I will cast it. It's probably low, but, uh... <laughs> um, okay, so... Stainless steel. Oh, what is this one? Plus frost charges whenever you apply insulate, recover... Four percent HP and suffer two chill. Hmm. I think I just take this and I think I'm pretty happy about it. I mean, this is pretty good. She's not really... She doesn't have any of the insulate in her deck. She could add one. So... We'll just do that. Um, nothing here. We'll take black deck here. And... Nothing here. Okay, so we rest a little bit, get a heal up a bit, and get some golden shards. Ow. Okay, now we get to dispel. Sweet. Um, ooh, vampiric tutor. I guess that doesn't actually. That's not actually very good. <laughs> oh well. Okay. I needed to give him an extra energy. Let's put it back. We can maybe use it later. <laughs> Oh, the black deck cards. Totally forgot about these. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Um, let's see. That is uh, all going according to plan.
We have a lot of zeal on us right now. <laughs> those back. We can use these. And there we go. Damage and plus zero percent, huh? Um, I mean, I guess I'll do this. Here we go. It's interesting. A, a lot of uh, comps, a lot of the comps sort of fall into just funnel comps. And this one is one of the ones where it's like s quite spread out. Everyone just sort of is doing good at the thing they're doing, <laughs> which is uh, kind of interesting. Okay. Now, would would this comp be better if uh, if I just funneled somebody? Like, probably. But <laughs> it is it is quite fun to uh... mm, I guess we'll do that. I don't... It is quite fun, just everyone, like each of the characters feels like ha it has an important role and is doing doing cool stuff. Okay, let's use this one. There's so many different, like, things going on that I keep forgetting, like, random the random stuff that actually like makes me draw and the different like mechanics and stuff that I are sort of around that I <laughs> keep forgetting about it's like I, I totally forgot that purification gives a draw and like I was like why is she drawing cards <laughs> there's just so much going on And Gustav <laughs> bringing the damage here. There we go. Uh, let's skip, meditate. Uh, skip. Probably not. Wait, what is this one? Yeah, probably not. We, we already took a seven cost spell, so let's maybe avoid that. Avoid more of those clunking up the deck. Ooh, Laya getting ice prisoned is probably the worst person to get ice prisoned. Uh... Yeah, because Lia being ice prison, like, it's like all our defense. <laughs> so, it's kind of scary. I guess we can... Give as much straw to Nez as possible so that he can apply as much. Or he can heal us a little bit more. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, crap. I could have been procking that the whole time. Okay, well, if we can actually... If we can slow him enough... I don't know where I'm getting that slow from, but... I guess right here and here? Oh, I know. There's no way. Um... I have an evasion. What is he doing? So he's stealing. He's gonna do that first. So I might as well just... Oh, well, he won't steal the evasion. He'll steal something else. Oh, no, he stole the evasion. Okay. Ending story back, and this one finally get to play a turn. Okay. Whammo! <laughs> Heal for 42, not too bad. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Who's dealt the most this time? Nez so far. This will help out. Let's give Gustav a draw and Nez an energy. He was already super speedy. I forgot about that. Okay, we have two anthems that don't draw. That's not great for us, but... We'll use one of them. It is just... Fun using one card to proc dark over and over again. <laughs> okay, round three win on Faborg or whatever his name is. Man, they just keep giving us these sick cards that I wish uh, Lyo was getting. Um. Skip that one. I will take a master spell. That one's good. Um, I have sanctuary. Probably not. Okay. Megaphone is good. Um, freezing ink is good. I can guess I can take freezing ink on Laya. That's probably fine. 
And then Megaphone, probably just on... Well... Maybe I can take Megaphone on... Uh, Amelia... Well, uh, I guess it could go on... It could just be good on Gustav, too. Yeah, but Gustav could take Brass Amulet. So, yeah, let's go... Let's go Megaphone here. Freezing Ink. Nothing for Nez. And then Brass Amulet. Extra sharp charges are sweet. Okay. Okay, so... Interesting. Nothing amazing here. I don't know that there's anything we actually want to swap out. Um, endless Bag is okay. I don't really have the energy to use it, though. None of our characters currently can do that, so... I think I'll just be chilling without that. Um, okay, so let's change some stuff. Like, let's make this this. Um, let's upgrade these. <laughs> Um, uh, da -da 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 -da. <sighs> um, we definitely want this coming out of the deck. I might just want it to not be in the deck. I mean, it does give nine sharp. It's like a ton. Um, yeah. I feel like we're okay. I do think this one I want zero cost. Maybe that's wrong. I don't know. It's probably okay. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm wondering... Are there any what are are there any like good five cost spells? Electrocute. Winter orb. Hmm. So what we could try to do. We could try switching this to this version, and then we can try using um, Banish to banish the Replenishment from her deck, and then when it comes back, it'll cost three less, and it'll cost two, and that's the perfect amount that we want um, for those big long fights. Um, I think that would be nice. Um, I mean, I don't think we can even buy. No, we can't. The mythic cards. If we can find a Necropotence, then that's like pretty insane for Amelia. That's like the best card she could find, I think. Um, 
I mean, I will upgrade this. Recurring Nightmare, I think, could still be good. I think I need to take out, like, a Frost Nova from her deck. The Shatter is pretty bad. Yeah, let's do something like that. Um, I mean, we could take out the Icy Veins now, too. Mm. Okay, um, I'm going to take a quick break and think about some of this. Um, but I'll be right back for you guys, and uh, see you soon. Okay, I am back. Um, so after thinking about it for a while, I think what I'm going to do... Um, is grab a winter orb and then uh, perhaps a blizzard, maybe an electrocute. I do like electrocute. Um, but maybe. Is that just too much? Is there any, like, good three-cost thing? Um, I guess the Curse of Torment, I could add back in, or I could swap the version of it. Um, Blizzard would be fine, too, but I think... I mean, maybe I can just, like, get another winter orb or something. I don't know. I was really looking for like a five cost thing so it'll be two cost once it's if I burn it and then get it back. Maybe I'm like planning too much for that since it's like not a guarantee that it's even going to happen but um, I think I will buy an electrocute just see how it goes. And then I'm going to remove some stuff from the deck. I don't think we need the two Frost Novas. I'm going to remove these Ice Lances. And the Icy Veins, I believe. And then... Yeah, I think everything else is okay. I could remove Electric Discharge... Or Eldritch Discharge. It's fine. I don't know how often I want to use it. It's probably worth keeping, though. Um, yeah, it's probably worth keeping. Um, okay, so that's that. Here we have this stuff going on, which is fine. Nesglek, I think, is doing just fine. I mean, we could take out, we could just, like, remove some of these. I could remove the clairvoyance. It's okay though. Um, what is the? Is it called banish? That's no, vanish. <laughs> um, I think it's only fortune telling that lets you do that. Um, I think if we really want Amelia's deck to work, I'm going to grab another one of these. Just so that there's like two of them in circulation. Um, and Nez can cast this for free. We're also going to be grabbing... Oh, where, what is it even called? Oh, Expected Prophecy. I'm going to be grabbing another one of these for Nez. Um, and then I do think I'll just take out some Mind Blasts. Hmm.
I'll take out this Holy Smite. It's just sort of expensive to cast. Um, I think the rest of this is fine. And then here is fine. I, I'm going to keep this one Sweet Melody in the deck. Just so that occasionally there's an extra Dispel Ooh, sort of laying around if, if needed. Um... Okay, upgrades. This costs a bunch, right? This costs even more. This costs a bunch. So does that. Um, could do helping hand upgrades. Those are fine. You know what? Yeah, let's do helping hand upgrades. Those are things I want to do, and like I don't know that I, there's anything else that actually matters. Um, I'll just save in case I want to do something else. Um, so yeah, let's get going. We'll see how these decks work out. Um, we do have to come this bottom path. Um, so that does mean going through a siren, which is a scary ordeal. We'll see how, how well we can do against it. Okay, so she did not sonar turn one, which is a huge deal. Very good for us. Um, start with this one. We can then maybe. Oh, she got. Wow, she's so slow. Um, guess we can do that. Um, well, let's deal some damage over here. Okay. Um, shifting for Curse of Torment is fine. Um, clear instructions. Okay. Ooh. Put those back, and then we can do a zero cost sharpen. Use one of these, put this one back, and there we go. Ooh. Okay, chosen one. Very nice. Um, put that back. Um, eh, we'll take out those two. Um, <laughs> this is doing a ton of damage. Bunch of zeal and uh, a single spell sword stack. <laughs> well, we gotta start here. Not the ideal hand. It would have been nice to have some extra energy, but. Okay. Get rid of some of that, and all of that, and do a bunch of blocking. <laughs> okay, sonar's up, but we've nearly killed them, so I think we will be okay. Um, we can just give 
most of this over here to Nesclect. Give him a bunch of energy. Um, okay. <laughs> um, don't think we need that. We are blowing things up. <laughs> Nez is, uh, this combination of terroring black deck is pretty awesome. I'm definitely enjoying it. Um, okay, well, let's actually heal her and then can deal some damage here. Could have ended it there, but we can probably just wait. Yeah, definitely worth waiting. We can lay on pause just to make sure that uh, Amelia's at max health at the end of this fight. Boom. Okay, um... So it's whenever we apply regen, we apply that. Um, let's skip these. We can skip this. Do I want another tome? I don't know that I do. I think it's fine. Let's see if we can get a discount. Odding. Uh, nothing really here that's that interesting anyway, so. Let's skedaddle. Um. Ah, uh, we don't need to do that. It was probably fine. This is like an annoying comp though. Having the double vitality guys really uh, can cause is like lots of issues, but I guess we will see. Um, oh, well. Lancer Dark Lancer and Celsius. Let's get this stuff out of the way, put the helping hands back, because we're going to draw those. Put that one back, and then give some block there. Friendly protection is very nice. Okay, so energy. Oh, I should be. Uh, I don't really know what I'm. My goal was here. <laughs> um. Thank you for the sanctify. <laughs> Um, chosen one, fanaticism, 
I'm gonna banish, get rid of this. This, this. Okay, so we still have these. I'll put this one back. I have one more here. Okay. <sighs> Our super speed is here. Um, Comp is really coming together. Sure, we can get rid of the 26 insane that Nez has. Okay, Rift Force and Raw. Nez will end it here very easily. <laughs> Ockley did it himself. Nice. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, probably don't want anything there. Or here. Okay, so we have one of these that we can do. Um, Corrupted Tome of Intellect is one of the best. Um, it's so good. Everyone gets one of these. Um, otherwise, it's like... A Mind Visions or something. I guess I could do a corrupted sharpening knife. It's less like a horrible if it goes wrong, because it is pretty terrible if this becomes just a dud in our deck. Um, let's try it. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no. Okay, so let's ring the bell once and um what do we want? Oh, we have two different meditates. So there's probably one of those that's better that I should swap both of them to. Um, don't really want the entrenched to go away. This is already corrupted. Upgraded fortune telling would be good. Um, oh, corrupted tome of intellect is insane. It's gotta be this. It's pretty bad if it fails, but it's so good if it's if it succeeds. Oh. Okay, sorry, Toby. Pulled me away for a sec. Um. Okay, let's uh, ring the bell. Um. So. This is already upgraded. Um. Fortune telling could be cool. Oh, deja vu. Could be really cool. 
putting it into your deck is like quite a bit better because then you can like put it in your deck and then expected prophecy and you get it right away and that's versus uh Yeah, versus putting it in your discard pile. What else is there? Um, nothing really here. Um, oh, Tome of Intellect. It's got to be this one, right? Um, oh, thank God. Uh, it's pretty bad if we fail, but this being two cost, first of all, like gives us a really good two cost play on turn one and then if we ever get this a second time in the run it's just like oh it's so good so yeah that seems amazing okay let's get going Gustav is so slow <laughs> at 15 I'm so used to him being much faster Brain freeze. It's an amnesia, huh? Let's use this one and put back this and this. And then Okay. Looking okay and uh Um, I guess that... Well, maybe we should have, uh, gone after the Lancer. Uh, I guess these go back, because, uh, can't cast Neverending Story next turn. Hmm, <laughs> Okay, let's banish this one, and this one, and this one. Put this one back. Um, and then... I mean, I guess we can put that away and... When we get our, if we get our spell blade, I don't think it'll be the, in the, this, this fight, I think we're going to end before any of that happens, but. Um, I guess we'll discard this one. And... Okay. That was some damage. I have quite a lot of thorns now. Ow. Oof. Amelia is, uh... Uh, sort of in trouble here. Um, let's have her get sped up, and then we can hopefully give some shields to Amelia on this turn. Okay, we got rid of some of the thorns, not all of it, but some. Um, let's grab this. Uh, sure. 
Um. Um, I think I just stay there. I guess I had other stuff I could do. <laughs> uh, it didn't seem necessary. Okay. And boom, boom, boom. Ooh, look at this hand of cards that are playable. <laughs> One cost winter orb. Don't mind if I do. Oh my gosh, this is a scroll of intellect, man. Nice. Um, flash rays, probably not needed at this point. I think we're doing good enough to not have to use that. Um, second wind, I don't think she needs, um, an adrenaline I think is, is worth grabbing though. Okay, so we come here and we have a good candidate for a new squid person, <gasps> golden laurel, who takes it? I think it's got to be Gustav. Well, hmm. I guess I could just do Nez. How much? He's not really dealing all that much poison damage nowadays. It's mostly dark damage. Um, yeah, I think I will do it on Nez. He gets to give everyone two Inspire a turn, which is pretty amazing. So let's do Nez for the Golden Laurel. And then I'll sing Amulet. Hmm. I don't know. What does Laya have? This thing? Freezing ink? I'm not sure how much that matters. <sighs> Do I want an amulet of speed on anyone? We have good rings on everyone. So, like... I would have to do it on Gustav, and, like, maybe that's worth it for a couple of fights. Over the brass amulet. Puts him to like 18, which I think puts him ahead of the twins. Which I guess I am worried a little bit about Amelia just dying in that fight, so... I think, uh... I think we say goodbye to his, uh, sharp. Yeah, I think that's correct. Um, okay, I think that's it. Um, I think all these other things are, are very good, so I don't really want to get rid of any of them. All seeing amulet is kind of a rough one to give up, but it's uh, it's not quite as good as these other ones. OK. 
Okay, um... Do we do this? Probably. I think I do it for the shop. There's some thousand gold items that are very good. Like, if we corrupt any of our items that we have currently, it'll be very nice for us. Ay -ay -ay. I'm glad I had the speed. I guess he would have been the same as these anyway. Uh, not the best first turn here. Hmm. Okay, we seem to have survived. Okay. So, it looks like we made it through the initial onslaught. I guess I'll grab this one because I can cast it for two. Up to three spell sword. Not too bad. Um, Heavenly Blessing is good. Let's banish these three away. And then we can draw. Put this one back. Um, let's just use this. I'm going to use it anyway. Might as well use it now. Um, get one more of these. Let's put Chilling Gaze on top. Probably don't want to use that this turn. Lots of healing from Nez, and now we're all super fast, too. Mm. Let's do that. Maybe we can kill someone before their turn. So much draw. I just need. I, I guess Nez just gets all the draw now because he's uh, the one giving out a bunch. <laughs> okay, start with this one, then this one, then we can do these others. Now we have a bunch of cool stuff in our deck. Um, like this one and this. Wait, uh, I guess we haven't done a second one of these, but eh. I want to play a one cost uh, <laughs> orb. Okay. Doop, doop.
Okay, put this back. Then we can toss some of these out. And deja vu for the final. A pretty close damage there from uh, Amelia and uh, Nez. Mm. We'll take an energizing serenade, why not? For every chill you apply, apply a insane. Interesting. Oh, we have a golden harp here. Um, that is very good for Gustav. Um, I guess a. Uh, Chalice of Queens would have been pretty good for Laia, but yeah, that, that that was that was what we wanted. Something like that makes sense. Okay, let's get at them. Hopefully, he draws his like one speed card. <laughs> oh, he did. Nice. We can boost up. Uh, Ourselves a little bit. Okay, so I guess we'll start with this one. And now this one. And Amelia should be safe, I think. Ouch. Okay. Took some damage, but not enough to worry. Oh, I should have put this back. What was I thinking? I guess I can do it again. Put it back. And start with this one. Can definitely getting rid of that. I guess these are all fine to get rid of. Um, Let's save some energy for next turn. Uh, this costs a little bit less, I think. Well, I guess it doesn't. It won't always. Oh, I should. I should definitely play this before I draw more. Um. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Maybe could have been better, but uh, I'm chill with how it went. Okay.
Definitely some damage there. Ouch. Okay. Um... We want to be getting rid of that stuff. Oh, I could I should have fortune telling. Because then I could have gotten rid of the replenishment and winter orb. Oh, that would have been so good. Oh, well. Um. Sarcastic Sonnet, an Energizing Serenade. This, uh, there's a lot of just stuff going on here that I <laughs> I'm trying to keep track of but it is hard to think about all the different things um um okay Have laser beams. Okay, let's put that back and then we can get it out of our deck. Okay, the light one is almost dead. We're getting there. Let's see. Oh, I guess I should have drawn first. Oh, well, I guess I can cold snap it back. Man, this, these scroll of intellects are so good. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Let's see what we can do with uh, everyone else. Maybe I shouldn't have let Don heal up as much, and I should have just gone for him. Probably could have killed him, honestly, but... Okay. Um...
Which is each of these doing? About 150. Um... Put that back. Okay, one down, one to go. So, hmm, I guess uh, this is fine. I'll just wait, he'll hit us, and then we can kill him next turn. So, we weren't able to get a first, or, uh, excellent twins, but, uh, we're able to bring it up, or bring it in right now. Um. I'm just gonna end there. We don't need to heal him anymore. <laughs> what a hand. Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> this is uh, one of my favorites. So good. Um, challenging Shao in Tomb. Probably not. Um. I guess if we transform our we we transform our damage type, that'd be kind of cool. Okay, so gain time loop once per combat. We need play elders discharge. For, uh, let's just get unlimited blades times two. Beacon of light, um, omniscience, and. And everyone gets stanza three. We get anything cool for items? Eh, that kind of meh. What is this one corrupted, actually? This could have been cool if we had corrupted it. But I don't think anyone can take the dark one. Um, Retaliator, I guess I just take that on over here, that makes sense, um, and then I think everything else just gets left behind. I mean, I could take Dark One just to make it so that, uh... I mean, it doesn't really matter how much Dark ex How high Dark Explosions go, because once you get the... Or once you start Deja Vuing, you're just, like, putting 40 Dark... Like, every Deja Vu proc Dark, and so it doesn't really change what it does, so... Um, yeah, seems good. Okay, we can come down here. 
Oh, a free card upgrade. Is there anything that I actually want to upgrade? Could upgrade an electrocute. That'd be sweet. Um, sure. They are very fast. This guy, uh, silences us. It's not good. <laughs> uh, who has megaphone? Is it, uh, Amelia still? No. Luckily, you didn't deal any damage. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Maybe I didn't want to do that. Okay, we can battle plan. Let's put this one back. Battle plan. Uh. Okay, well, let's hope we can proc all of this. All of the shenanigans here. Okay. Well, that's actually pretty good. Okay. We proc it all so that now Nez can take a turn not silenced. That was actually very clutch. Um, now, unfortunately, we are one away from casting that. Um, let's put this back. We can... Start off there. Uh, I guess I'll just leave it there. We had a decent chunk of slow on them. So even with their plus five speed and Gustav's going before him. Um, I think I do that. Um, Okay. That was, uh, decent. Ooh, nice. So, Heavenly Protection Entrench. And then... <laughs> Whew, this, uh, this run is uh, definitely taking longer than some of the other ones. Four hours and 30 minutes already. And uh, we're not to the final boss. I've had like six and a half hour runs though, so. Um. Okay. Hmm. 
Man, she takes like no damage with the with this stuff up. Okay, uh, I'll do that one and this one. This works. Okay, Gustav should be able to kill him before he silences us again, which is nice. <laughs> that was good enough. <laughs> okay, I can hit him a bunch. Blizzard, Flash, or Mana Gem. Hmm. Probably don't need a Blizzard. Probably don't need another mana gem. Last reward, though, is, like, amazing. Last reward in Amelia's deck would be so good. <laughs> um, what is this? Oh, it's a free upgrade, right? Uh, let's do two energy electrocute, and then we can do, sure, prayer of protection, mind visions, and energizing serenade, huh? Got it on everyone. Okay, cool. We just use the altar as is. I don't know that we have very much to upgrade. So, just these. Nothing here. Just these. Um, so, I guess we can do, like, Recurring Nightmare. Or oh, maybe Winter Orb. Hmm. Yeah, let's do Winter Orb, and then we can just upgrade, like, uh, Whispering Lies. Oh, there was something I was going to swap the upgrade of. What was it? Um. Do, 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 where is it? Was it in this deck? No, I don't think so. Is it in this deck? Oh, these. Um, I think getting the energy the turn of is almost always better. Yeah, it's like occasionally it'll be the other way around, but. 
I think this that makes sense. Um, sure. There you go. Ninety cost up. Whole upgrade the Holy Nova. Okay, cool. We get one additional initial energy. Now we get to remove some cards if we want. Um, I feel like this deck is actually pretty fine. I could take out this Frost Nova. Um, sure. Let's take out a Frost Nova. Here, I could take out the Healing Reigns, but they're okay. They're probably fine. Um, here, do, 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 do. what do we want to do? Sharpening knife, maybe? Huh. No, let's take out the Vexing Crescendo. I think I'm just not going to cast that very often. Okay, um, this seems good. Final hallway fight. Here we are. Man, they come out swinging. <laughs> That's not cool. Well, he could kill her. Oh, nice. <laughs> 12 health. That's plenty. That's plenty. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, maybe I could draw into something. Okay. Okay, some good healing. Sanctify being very nice there. Um, let's put this one back and then we can give some energy and well, I suppose we just use all these. tired. So,
Okay. She did quite a lot that turn. <laughs> okay. Energy for everyone. Stay awake for the rest of this. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Um, another last reward? Probably not, since it's not upgraded. Um, nothing here. An upgraded blizzard. Probably not. Okay, I think we're good to go and fight the final boss. Let's go with uh, Nesbect. Okay, he's very angry at Nez. Okay, I am back to finish off this run. Let's see how we do. Um, start with a chant, and another chant, and it's sort of been nice to have to start the turn, but we aren't going to refuse it now. I don't think there's any way we kill this guy before he kills our pets, which is unfortunate because our pets are very good, but... Let's put these back. We're going to draw them again anyway, so. Um, I think Amelia gets the draw turn one. I mean, maybe it should be Nez, but... Okay. Um. Um, okay, I will riff force. I don't think I want to proc this right now cuz I kind of want to get rid of some of these first, but Oh, crap. No, wait. Oh, no. I should have done that in the other order. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, well. Mm. It's fortune telling. We can get rid of those. Mm, I should just be focusing on these other guys. Oh, I guess I should have chilling gazed earlier. Or just started by drawing. Um... What else do I have in my deck? Um, I guess this is worth doing. I'll put this one back, and then we can use this on Amelia, I guess. I, yeah, I guess we're getting rid of that anyway. 
Okay. Not the best play, but... Man, I didn't even think about getting a one-cost Necropotence. That was insane. Oh, if we just used it, it would have been glorious. Okay, so... Start off with... I guess this... Um, I guess we can last reward right now. Um, I think I'll just leave this set up in the deck. We can use that another turn. It'll be fine. Okay, so we did get our Necropotence back. Um, do we have anything else we want to get rid of? I guess the... Okay, so we need something to proc it. Let's see what we get here. Maybe we can get something good to proc it. Okay, this actually works well. So we can use this. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of all of these. Oh, dang it. It put them in the... I, I thought I would it would put them in first and then I would start drawing, but unfortunate. It's fine, though. Um, actually, Prismatic Field is pretty good. Um, I am gonna get rid of these. This turn is insane. Um, I guess we can vanish these. Why not? Okay. And... <laughs> that was a wild turn. Oh my gosh. Give everyone max mana, deal like a ridiculous amount of damage. Whew. Okay. And... Okay. Whew. Um... <clears throat> Guess I'll start with this. All of the clones taken care of, and now we just focus on him. So, I think we... Energizing Serenade, because that one's sweet. And... I think we just get rid of that. Oh, I thought we had another energy. Oh well. 
It would have been better to just like cast all of this stuff, but I thought I was thinking we had another energy and then we could whispering lies and last reward of whispering lies, but next turn, next turn. Okay. Um, put those back. Let's see, what are people drawing? 10 cards, 7 cards, 3. I guess we can use one of these instead of the draw. <laughs> okay, so she isn't using, she doesn't have, um... Psychic damage anymore, or mind damage anymore, but you're still dealing quite a lot just from having um, a bunch of spell sword. And you get a transmission, why not? <laughs> um, sure, mind vision's pretty good. Put one of these back, and then we can cast two more deja vus. And then I think just end the turn there. Okay. Let's get another one of these, and then we can get him up to six vulnerable. And a never-ending story for some damage. These hands, I just don't even know. <laughs> Drawing cards, clicking buttons. No one has anything. I guess we can put this back and then give Gustav some draw. Why not? Okay, so one cost winter orb. Two cost this, electrocute. Um, I guess cold snaps is pretty good. Oh, we drew. Forgot about that. Oh well. Guess we can just do this. <laughs> the deja vu train is here. Um, let's draw, put a deja vu back, draw again, put a deja vu back. Okay. Ooh, Nisgluck almost died. <laughs> That's not great. I can't really heal him without himself going, so... Hmm. 
That might be it. Oh, wait, we can... Okay, there we go. That works out. I don't think this kills him. Yeah. And then... There's a little bit of extra heal. Okay, we get to Winter Orb. Nice. Okay. Let's see how this uh, Archon fight goes. 17k, 30k, 25k. Not the be not the best starting hand here from uh, Gustav. Hmm. We'll have Amelia go first. Um. That's fine. Hmm. I guess I want to get rid of my stuff so that I can get some more <coughs> later. That's only going to be one, that won't give us a charge since we only have one energy. Um. Let's start with the Chosen One. I guess we can Expected Prophecy. Let's put back the Expected Prophecy and then we can banish Eve. Let's get rid of those three. Oh, well actually, maybe Clear Instructions is better, but he's zero cost. I guess we can maybe do both. Okay, um... Let's hit this guy. Um... It's a little bit more damage, and then we can remove our... Curses. This next turn is going to be annoying. Um, everyone is drawing less and has less energy. Okay. Let's give this to Nez, I think. Okay, um... Let's draw first, put back one of those. Oh, I should have gotten rid of Gustav's. Hmm. Yeah, because then he would have been ahead of them. But... 
Oh well. Um, so we can't get up to that much energy. I think, uh, let's see, what do we have in here? A Mind Twist? We can't actually cast that, so let's, uh, we can just do this. Um, we don't need to cast Clairvoyance, I don't think. Um, I will do this, and I'll put uh, Heavenly Blessing on top. Okay, Heavy Metal to start. Very good. Well, oh, I actually don't really want to use that. Hmm, dang. I kind of, yeah, I kind of want that to stay in the deck. Oh, well. Um, let's make sure we keep passing these around and, yeah. I guess I could have used the expected prophecies first, but that's fine. Hmm. Mm. Let's put those back. I think just getting courage back on us is fine. Give some people some draw. Okay. We weren't able to get as many discounts as uh, last time. Um, but, uh, like, we weren't able to... Mainly the, the ice shards or whatever it is. Frozen orb. I want to keep the Whispering Lies in the deck. They're very good, so... <laughs> I actually don't want to do use those. Um, I guess I'll just start with Deja Vu's. Deal a pretty good damage even when he has evasion, since uh, they are adding a bunch of dark. Um, can do another one of these. Let's put. An expected prophecy back, and then I guess we can deja vu. Okay. Mm <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I guess just max. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. So... 
And get rid of some insane, get rid of some weakness. Give draw to the one person left who can use it. Final fight going fine. Uh, we're a little. I mean, this this comp is a little slow, but uh, we it's feeling feeling fine. This card is not very good. I really wish I had another Whispering Lies in the deck. <laughs> well, that would be pretty good. Oh, we'll keep giving that away. <laughs> you know what? The blue martyrdoms are bad. I don't really... I think it's fine for them to be in Lia's deck. Okay, so... What... How do we want to do this? I think we... can start here. And then... Sure. We use both pen charges or fountain fountain ink. More deja vus, more deja vus, more deja vus. <laughs> that was so good. Um. Cool. I guess I could have taken out the clairvoyance before the final fight. It's not very good, but. We won't draw it that often anymore. <laughs> Okay, so let's do this one, this one, uh, this one, this one. Guess we can cast this, why not? Okay, that's fine. What a hand. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. We could stop trading those around at some point, but uh, it's it's fine. Let's see what we get. Um Um
sure. Okay, back to evasion. So we want to... I'm just going to use this now so that I can get the week off of myself. Okay, I'll, I'll skip casting that one, it's fine. Oh, maybe I should be giving more draw or energy to Gustav. Probably, but... Okay. Hmm, let's put that back. Put those ones back. And get some sads out of the deck. Okay. Two hundred and forty one from that dark. <laughs> um I guess we'll put a deja vu back and then we can can draw into it. Oh, I shouldn't have used that. My deck is 24 cards and almost all deja vus, so... <laughs> I think it was very unlikely that I draw into that again, so I should have just saved the energy. Okay, so let's uh, get some... I think we... yeah, we just use this, because we want to get up to max vulnerable. And then we... Use these and give some sharp there. Okay. Okay, we should be able to kill him this turn with Nezglect, I would suspect. Oh, I guess I should have saved that till the end so we get the biggest dark explosion on the last one, but I think this is enough damage. <laughs> 10k this fight from Nez. Uh, he sort of ran away with it here at the end. Um... Pretty good. I uh, that this is a fun run. I think Nez is a pretty good carry. Um, I do think that uh, it does rely pretty heavily on items. I think like getting the the ring that transforms madness to um, uh, dark is pretty important. Even the madness to sight one is. Very good. There's a couple of different versions that, that can work, but uh, yeah, this is a fun run. Um, 
Let's uh, take a look at uh, these, uh, the run. So we had uh, Gustav, Archmage book was good. Golden Harp is obviously great. Um, I, I do think the black deck uh, Terror Ring was great. Golden Laurel, obviously an insane item. Um, Free Lover, Hydreg, amazing as always. Um, Amelia doing uh, cool book stuff along with uh, just casting uh, Winter Orb and Electrocute and Replenishment for cheap later in, on in the run was really fun. Um, and uh, fairly effective, I think, uh, at doing what she what you want. And, and she's just like quite tanky. Like she never died in this run. Um, which I think shows like just how, uh, whoops, uh, just how the, um, the damage mitigation from Spell Sword really makes a difference, um, in the early game. And I mean, I guess throughout the whole game, I mean, there were turns where they're like multi hitting her 10 times and she takes like, I don't know, 20 damage. Cause she made each hit reduced by 10, like, or by five, um, so, it's like, uh, yeah, quite quite effective. And I think Laia can very easily solo heal a run. I mean, solo, like, protect a run with this, this kind of stuff, um, which is pretty cool. You get to have, then, three others that are sort of dealing damage. Now, I do think, like, having a, a run where, like, it might be slightly more effective to just have a character who's full support. Like, Laia is all full damage and then you have a full support who's like giving out bless or sharp or whatever it is to max out your carries like if you have two carries i think that would actually be pretty effective too um but yeah i i, I really enjoy this run i think deja vu is like now one of my favorite cards and uh is just very very fun to use with terroring um and uh yeah nez coming out on top on damage um, but like 20k and 27k from both of these guys is uh, re super respectable too. Um, cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this run. Let me know in the comments what uh, you would like to see next. Um, if there's any characters that you want to see, if there's any comps that you want me to try out, um, I would be super happy to give it a go. So um, thanks, and, uh, thanks for stopping by. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of, uh, December. Um, so if, uh, you aren't subscribed yet, uh, definitely, uh, throw me a subscription, and, uh, that would be awesome. So, yeah, be back soon.